Good evening, everybody. Hello, welcome back to the stream. Hope you guys are doing well. Good afternoon or good evening or good morning, depending on where you are in the world. Carl, welcome back. Good to see you again. Bruno, good to see you as always. Uh, Nigel, good to see you again. Dylan and Lack, good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome. Phil as well, welcome to the chat. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Simon, of course, welcome to the stream. I hope we're all doing well. Um, about to get underway here. I am just, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, set uh, set a thumbnail on Facebook, but for some reason, it's just spinning and spinning, and uh, it won't let me edit my post for some reason, which is a bit, a little bit frustrating, but. Um, I might just have to leave it for now and come back to it later on. Because I don't, I don't really, I can't really see it working anytime soon. All right, let's get popping then, guys. So, today we are going to be flying um, in the, the east of the U.S., Let's have a look then, shall we? So, all right. So we're kicking things off today at um, Atlanta Airports. Let me just set the time properly here. 
There we go. So it's sort of middle of the afternoon here in the US. Oh, we've got a nice little rainbow over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, this uh, airport does uh, kill my frame so a little bit. So this is one of the uh, Asobo created airports. And I was just having a look around it a little bit earlier on and it's absolutely amazing. It looks so good. Um, I'll have a quick look around that shortly. I just had a little ping from uh, controller on VATSIM. Oh, wow. Okay. I've not had that one before. So we've actually just had a, a pre-departure clearance uh, from the controller already without us even having to do anything here. So um, pre-departure clearance start issued at uh, 1913 for uh, our flight, which is Delta 457. Uh, cleared to Kilo Delta Charlie Alpha, which is uh, Ronald Reagan Airport in Washington, D.C. Uh, via the Jack 2 departure. Uh, Kellen, oh, it's got our, our whole flight plan there. Uh, maintain 10,000. Expect flight level at 330 for 10 minutes after departure. Uh, sorry, 10 minutes after departure. Departure frequency 125.7. Um... Squawk 0422, expected runways 9 left. And uh, call at north south end of ramp for taxi with call sign ATIS and spot number. Call at no north south end of the ramp for taxi with call sign ATIS and spot number. Interesting. I'm not quite sure how to interpret that actually. <laughs> why would you want why would you need to give them your spot number if you're already on the ramp? Interesting. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll do what it says. Um so let's uh let's get rocking. Good evening, Dave. Welcome back to the chat. Good to see you again. Mariner as well. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you're doing very well. Uh, all right. Hope there's no Etihad or Emirates. They're banned to the UK by the order of the UK government. Wow. Is that because of COVID or is that for another reason? I didn't know about that. I, I knew about the COVID situation, but... Damn, I thought it was in Vatsim then. <laughs> Cross, good evening, mate. Welcome back to the chat. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. All right, so it looks like we've got some uh, fairly uh, dreary conditions here in uh, Atlanta, but we have got a bit of sun, so I uh, can't really complain too much. Um, and a rainbow. It's looking really good. Let's have a quick, uh, quick browse on this airport, because we're not probably going to get to see much of it on the taxi out as is usually the case, and trying to focus on making sure I'm going the right way. So let's have a quick look around here. So we're at uh, the, uh, I think this is a main concourse for Delta, and uh, Delta are based at this airport. So this looks like what to be is the sort of main entrance, which is pretty cool. Um, they've done quite a lot of work on this ever so, but it's pretty impressive actually what they've done here. Um, you've got all these separate concourses, and I actually found myself wondering the other day. I don't know if anyone's ever been to a, an airport which is in this style, uh, where it has all these separate concourses. It seems to be quite a common thing in the U.S. Um, but how do passengers get between the concourses? Is there like an underground walkway or something like that? I imagine it's probably like that. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they don't just get a bus over. I feel like that would be fairly inefficient. Or maybe it's a train that runs under. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, we've got a few players logged on here. We've got some, some VATSIM controllers logged on as well. Um, so we should have a bit of ATC on the way. Um, so it's looking pretty good. Uh, you can tell which the VATSIM planes are because they have lights on and they're making a noise like this one, for example. And, uh, yeah, there's a few more over here. You can tell it's quite loud over here. Um... So you've got all these concourses which look quite cool, but then you come over here and you've got this 
sort of, I think this is the international uh, terminal. So this one looks a little bit different. It's got the red windows and whatnot. Got a plane taxiing out here. And then you've got the control tower as well, which is absolutely enormous. Um, and then, sorry, actually, I think this one might be the international terminal. And then you've got this uh, sort of, uh, I believe this is actually the HQ for uh, Delta right here. Obviously, they've got a hangar and some um, signage there. Pretty cool. Fly Delta Jets. Pretty iconic sign that, I believe, for uh, plane spotters in the area, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, you've got uh, all the Delta signage on the hangars and whatnot here. So it's pretty nice, pretty nicely detailed, this, actually, for one of the Asobo ones. You don't tend to... The Asobo ones are a little bit hit and miss, I find, but this one is really quite nice. All right, so let's uh, let's get on with it then, and just catch up with the chat before I get my head stuck in here. COVID, all flights from UAA suspended. Yeah, I thought I heard that one. Um, understandable, I suppose. Spot number might be gate. Yeah, spot number usually is referring to uh, where you parked, but I just it's just a bit confusing that you need to quote a spot number when you're already on the apron <laughs> that's that's what confused me dreams race man looking forward to this one thank you very much paul appreciate the kind words thank you very much dude passengers banned from entering the uk from the united Amer arab emirates Rwanda and uh, burundi due to covid Emirates and Etihad suspended flights as of uh, 1 o'clock on Friday. Wow. Wow, that's a, that's a big one, I suppose. Um, obviously, London especially is big connection to Dubai. Bobby, there will be a metro underground train between concourses by the sounds of it. Yeah. I... Uh, I thought that might be the case. They have one of the biggest trains of any airport in the world. Holy crap. Atlanta Airport has a lot of the biggest things um, of any airport in the world, which I was reading about earlier on, actually. Patrick, good evening. I'm doing very well, mate. Yeah, thank you very much for asking. How are you doing? Yes, mate. It's good to good to be streaming on a Sunday evening. It's been a little, been a little while since I did one on a Sunday evening. Um, tried to do them more in the day uh, recently, but uh, I I wanted to get a bit of ATC this evening. So um, and a lot of people tend to be on in the evening in terms of controllers. So um, yeah, and I decided to do the, Mer the US East because. Um, it's just a bit different, I suppose. Obviously, there's tons of controllers on in the um, in Europe at the moment, like a ridiculous amount I can see at the moment. <laughs> but there's still plenty on over east, eastern uh, US as well. And I suppose there's probably only going to be more coming on as the uh, the stream goes on. Uh, obviously, it's kind of just after lunchtime in the US at the moment on a Sunday, so I assume uh, it's just going to get busier. So it should be pretty cool. Robert, good evening and uh, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. And Bruno, thank you very much for sending the 100 stars. Stars? <laughs> I'm not sure how I missed that one. I don't think any sound played. But uh, appreciate that. Thank you very much, dude. Very generous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cool. So let's start getting things set up then. So uh, first of all, just take a quick look at this livery because, wow, it's just amazing isn't it? Super retro. Nice reflective kind of almost bare metal finish on the bottom. Uh, you got the nice little cheat line running along. And yeah, it just looks really cool. I absolutely love this one. I um, find a lot of retro liveries can be a bit hit and miss, but this is a pretty cool one, I think. I did a few additions to it myself because it was missing some stuff that the actual livery has, like this logo on the engine and uh, this uh, registration here I stuck that in there and, and on the tail as well uh, just to take it up a notch in terms of detail but uh, the main design is uh, 
um, what I started with. It's available on flightsim.to, very, very nice livery. Um, so first flight is going to be a Delta flight, and then uh, the second one is going to be a um, American Airlines. Uh, I've got a retro livery for American as well, so really looking forward to using that one as well. Okay, so let's get set up then. So first of all, check my CPU usage because I could feel my frame rate is pretty ropey today. Not gonna lie, it's so strange when I'm um, when I'm streaming, I get such a worse, a much worse frame rate, and OBS is not using that much resources when you look in Task Manager. It's 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 strange, but I I, I get it. All right, so let's get underway then. First of all, we'll jump over to our overhead panel. Nav lights uh, can come on. Batteries on. Oh, they've got new sounds. Beautiful. I'm going to turn the sounds up a bit for you guys so you can hear. External power as well. Oh, oh, those sounds though. Oh, they're sounding nice. Turn the music off as well. Let me know if it's too loud, but... Nice, it's sounding good. Dave's, uh, your new monitor arrived today, 49 inch curved. Wow, nice man. That sounds pretty, pretty damn cool. All right, so we'll get some integral lights on. We'll turn the adheres to nav. So annoying man, struggling, but utilizing about 50% CPU and 60% GPU. And uh, we'll go for IR3 on nav as well. Yeah, I feel you on that, Mon Mariner. I can show you my task manager real quick. I mean, I've got a lot of apps open, but the total usage is, is not that high. So if you look at this, you've got 49%. In, in fact, you guys will be able to see it right now. Um, there we go. So we've got 49, around 50% CPU. It drops below and above. And 30% GPU. But yeah, my frame rate is just not that great. When I'm... When I'm off stream and I'm playing my th this game, this, this sim actually runs really well. It's super buttery smooth. Why is this overlay not showing? Hang on. Overlay is, uh, I love it, but it's so unreliable, man. All right, so we've got that stuff all on. They've done some massive updates to the APU as well over the last day or so, I believe, so. Really looking forward to uh, seeing how that looks. A um, few updates to the buttons and lights as well, I believe. So yeah, it should be pretty cool. Let's get uh, self-loading cargo on because we're going to give it, give that a bit of a go today. Um, Air Dolomiti. Have I chosen the wrong? Uh, <laughs> have I chosen the wrong icon for this uh, airline Delta Airlines icon? Oh yeah, it's DAL, isn't it? Not DLA. God damn it. I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to redo my flight plan. God that's annoying. Um I'll just edit my flight plan and re re uh, refile it. We'll have to get another clearance, but not the end of the world. All right, beautiful. 
so we'll submit that. Uh, we might as well change the time as well while we're at it. So it's a bit more doable. Profile that real quick. All right, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, okay. So, Diamond, yeah, raid would be very cool. <laughs> yeah, it seems uh, the the view count is it's so up and down here on Facebook. It's 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 quite confusing to be honest. I'm not really sure how it how it all works in terms of Facebook putting out the stream. I'm sort of convincing myself that it's due to having used slightly a diff slightly different way to push my stream out onto Facebook. Uh, using Restream.io rather than using um, Streamlabs. I'm sort of convinced it's something to do with that, but it's probably not. Right, okay, so reconnected to um, VATSIM now with the correct call sign. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we can then get self loading cargo going. Uh, we'll set this to an A320 and default layout with the Delta pack. Delta Airlines 457, 8 o'clock, import. Oops, let me press that again. Start flight. Let's say ready for boarding and we'll get the jetway connected. get the catering and baggage on the way as well because why not and uh, we'll open the doors for the passengers beautiful beautiful it sounds like there's someone taxiing past us there is indeed that's showing as a, a generic that's interesting um, right okay so um, top panel is good to go we'll put the emergency exit signs on and uh, no smoking we'll leave the seatbelt signs on as well so we'll leave the seatbelt signs off for now as uh, we don't have fuel on board yet uh, you can land flap config 3 now yeah I believe uh, I believe you can do yeah 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 and the rotate law yeah I watched that earlier today actually yeah yeah, that's in the experimental version, which uh, I am using. So interesting to see what that is like. All right, so let's go ATSU. There's a big red square in front of the controls you're showing. Wait, what is that big square? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know how long that's been there, but... <laughs> All right. Thanks for making me aware of that, Ward. <laughs> sorry, I totally didn't, uh, didn't realize. That's my bad. All right, cool. So let's get popping then. Uh, we'll go A, O, C, and uh, we'll initialize... Um, we'll get the uh, data from the Simbri flight plan, DAL457, so that's the correct, uh, <laughs> correct call sign this time. Back to AOC and into perf weight and balance. We'll load up the uh, weights here and the payload as well. Let's just see what that works out as. 
So our takeoff weight should be 64638. Uh, we're just uh, 100 under that, so that's not not the end of the world. And the zero fuel weight should be 58.5. Okay, so yeah, about 100 over, but uh, we're just going to go with that. That's not far at all. Um, then we'll jump back to AOC. We'll get the ATIS as well for where we are currently. So uh, KATL uh, is going to be the I count. And uh, we'll select departure there as well. Looking forward to using the printer. Looking forward to it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, whilst we wait for that to come through, let's uh, jump on back here and uh, then back over here sorry wrong button uh, do, 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 do. Uh, need to just go here don't we and then here so um, nav database that doesn't update I don't think that's hard coded and let's go to init init request we'll get our flight pram brought in from Simbrief uh, from uh, Kilo Alpha Tango Lima to Kilo Delta uh, Charlie Alpha, which is correct. Atlanta to Washington, uh, Ronald Reagan. Uh, alternate is uh, Kilo Echo Whiskey Romeo. I'm not actually sure which airport that is. I believe that is... Uh, 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 uh. Well, I think I'm just being blind here. I can't see it on my flight plan, but um, anyway, I highly doubt we're going to have to divert today. Um, IRSs are already aligned, so that's fine. We'll clear this out and we'll just jump on back to the MCDU menu real quick and uh, back to ATSU AOC and we're going to use a printer. Don't worry about using. Don't worry about that. Here we go. Print. Boom. I think they adjusted the speed on this a little bit since I initially used it, which is uh, quite nice. A bit more realistic. There we go. So I'll pull that off and bring that over here. Uh, Ward, thank you very much for the follow over on Twitch. Uh, Flying Studio as well. Apologies, I missed your um, follow earlier on as well. Thank you very much for following over on uh, on Twitch. All right, so we've got Atlanta Airport information, Foxtrot. Where's my pen? Foxtrot. Uh, zero 09 right. Uh, sorry, let me just read this on order here. Information, Foxtrot, 1852 Zulu. Um, winds uh, zero 0806 knots. And uh, let's see. Seven degrees, two nine eight five is the pressure reading. Let's set that. And I'm just going to verify that by pressing B on my keyboard. Uh, the Sims pressure reading is a little bit different, so we are going to go with that because, uh, yeah, we need to go by what the Sim says. Uh, simul simultaneous departures, departing runways 8 right, 9 left. Uh, runway 9 left departures. Expect interse intersection departure from take uh, taxiway Mike 2. Expect Arnav off the ground, departing runways 8 right, 9 left. Simul simultaneous approaches in use. No TAMs operate transponder with mode Charlie on all ramps, taxiways, and runways. Uh, advise you have information. Foxtrot. Okay, great stuff. Let's uh, let's get this set up then. So um, now I'm not sure if we're going to get a pre-departure uh, clearance again on text. Um, yes, we have logged back in, but with slightly different uh, call sign. So I'm, I'll, I'll contact the 
controller just in case, but uh, let's set this up anyway. So we're expecting 09 left and it's going to be the uh, Jack 2 departure. Lock the cockpit door. I don't usually lock the cockpit door until we're about to get pushed back. <laughs> You've got to let those cabin attendants come in in case they need to pop in just before. You know what I'm saying? Need my, uh, need my tea. Russell, thank you very much for following over on Twitch. Much appreciated. Leon, glad to have you again. It's nice to be back. Uh, have a good stream. Thank you very much, dude. It's good to have you again. I uh, hope you're doing very well. All right, so Jack 2 and uh, Keln, I believe, is the uh, correct transition. Yes, it is. Let's insert and uh, we'll leave the rest as it is for now. Um, and I'll set up once we get airborne. In fact, no, screw it. Let's just do it now. <laughs> um, so the uh, arrival in to... In fact, do I want to set this up? So I, I do want to try get the... Um, I want to try get the visual, the river visual approach into uh, Washington. So I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. In fact, we'll just put our nav 19 and uh, we'll put our arrival, which is caps three. Uh, we'll insert that and, and we'll just leave it as it is for now. We'll double check it once we get in the air, but um, that's going to stay at that. Our departure is uh, going to be a Arnav, um, Arnav departure, so we don't really need to worry about having anything tuned. And uh, let me just see about our arrival as well. Again, I don't think there is too much to worry about there. We're, like I say, we're hoping for a visual, so. That's fine. Um, cool, so nothing to do on the RadNav page. We'll leave that blank. And we'll go back to our init and init B. We'll stick in our zero fuel weights and our block fuel, which is 6.1 tons. Boom. Average trip trip wind is going to be a, uh, a tasty little tailwind of 75 knots. We'll take that. Beautiful. Looking good. Not going to be too long of a flight at all. Uh, might just have a time for a little quiz as well. I've, I've got a few questions down here, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll get that popping. Hopefully we've got time for it. Um, all right, so let's get the rest of the cockpit uh, configured here. We'll turn on the APU as well. And that's a new little feature there. The button like, sinks in now rather than being uh, lush. And we'll start the... APU starter. I uh, might as well put strobes to auto and landing lights to armed for now. Um, but still got 28 passengers boarding. We will stick the seatbelt signs on though. Let me just turn up the sounds. I had those all turned down from last time, didn't I? And voices. We'll just put the captain's voice. Uh, it's. Uh, quite low. Get this to about there as well. And uh, we'll get the 800 knots call out for Airbus. Positive rate gear up. That will turn this up a little bit so that we can actually hear those calls. Cool. Okay. Close that off. Wow, is the APU... Why is the APU available already? That's... I guess that's the new kind of sequencing it does. That was very quick. All right, interesting. Um, let's turn these screens up so we can see what we're looking at. And everything else is pretty much good to go, really. We'll set max auto brake and arm the ground spoilers. And yeah, I think we're pretty much good to go. They've reworked the radios as well, which is interesting. So hopefully the uh, these knobs are a little bit more um, responsive. All right, let's see who's online then. So we've got uh, the 
approach controller and a center controller. Oh, that's a new sound. What is that sound that I can hear? Wait, the plane just spawned on top of me. Nice, dude. Nice. Hopefully, hopefully he changes where he's, he's parked there because that's going to cause some confusion. All right, cool. So let's tune the approach controller on a 125.7. Okay, so these knobs feel exactly the same to me. On Alpha, advise uh, to finish with your run-up. Alright, so all the passengers are uh, on board. Two one left via Kilo Bravo I will Alpha, turn that down one, in just a second. Alpha, and we'll advise when run-up is complete, Skyhawk 1 and 646. Mention Airway seven going around. Mike here from Charlie 497 Heavy, turn left heading 360, maintain 4000. Left 360, maintain 4000, mention Airway 7. Oh, all the sounds are happening at once. Stop it. Please, just no. Ah! Where's the ground services? Ground services. Get away disconnection. Right, thank God. <laughs> thank you very much, Lack. Appreciate that, dude. All right. Let's just retune this. All right, we'll just give him a second, make sure no one's talking. Mike here from Charlie 497 Heavy. Is it uh, wind shear? Oh, I've just got our clearance now. Charlie 497 heavy turn left heading 275. We've just got our clearance again. There we go. Uh, let's see. So, do 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 do. Maintain 10,000. Expect 350, 10 minutes after departure. That's our cruising altitude. Batch frequency is 125.7, which we've already got tuned. Um, all right. Approach, good afternoon. Delta 1230 information, Fox Trout approaching spot ATR for taxi. Delta twelve thirty. Squawk um, zero four. Oh, Romeo nine left. To Mike two. Text via Mike Mike two. Mike Mike two nine left. Um, this is very Delta loud. Delta twelve thirty. Delta nineteen fifty eight. Our nav uh, grit from my nine left to Mike two. Clear for takeoff. Wait, what has happened on my screen? Our nav right grit one way zero nine left by Mike two. Clear for takeoff. Delta nineteen fifty eight. Delta 1745, cross runway 8 right on Delta, join Fox right to the ramp. Cross runway 8 right via Delta, join the uh, loop, Fox trot. After crossing runway 8 right, Delta 1745. Jet 44 heavy, radar contact, the altitude pass. There we go, that's a bit better on the volume. Sure, is that, is that better, be better, guys? Jet 44 heavy climb, maintain 14,000. Delta going up to 14,000, Jet 44 heavy. Thank you. Delta 1271. Alright, so we can get pushback. Uh, he just said to let us know once we, uh, once we depart. Uh, sorry. We need to let him know once we get to a spot. And I've just realized what the spot number is actually talking about, so. Let's just do a quick uh, departure briefing before we uh, before we get going here. So I also noticed they've added this uh, this model right here. Mike 
two give way to the top of Oh, which is very cool like, very cool um obviously it doesn't work yet but um let's do a bit of this though let's do a bit of this watch this this is magic this is magic there it is <laughs> all right so yeah this is going to be our departure today we're parked here on concourse tango and uh, we're going to push back facing south this is the spot he was talking about. He was talking about these spots right here. I'm not too used to using them because I don't generally fly out of airports. It's crazy big, but he was talking about these spots on the clearance. So we're going to be taxiing down to one Sierra and uh, we'll taxi on down. Departing on 09 left, so it's probably going to be a pretty short taxi out. Uh, I imagine we'll probably taxi down uh, either Lima or, um, or Tango. Um, and that's that's it really pretty simple taxi um, and then we're going to be departing on uh, 09 left here so taking it out uh, our route's going to take us out to Lidas Irwin and then out to Jack and uh, up to Kellin no real restrictions to take account of except for this one at 1527 is the minimum so we need to kind of um, climb pretty well here um, other than that that's uh, that's going to be it 250 knots obviously is the usual uh, is the standard uh, speed limit above 10,000 um, but that's it really so that's going to be our departure for today taking us all the way up towards um, Washington here and what we're hoping for at Washington is the um, river visual approach um, but we'll cover that once uh, once we get into flight. All right, Bill. Uh, Russell Dog, thank you very much for following over on Twitch. Much appreciated. I hope you're well and having a fantastic week. Welcome to the stream. All right, so let's uh, let's start our pushback. I think I'll give it. I think. To be honest, I think I've given up on that. Um, I think I've given up on that um, voice-activated pushback helper for now because it, it just it just mucks me up too often and it's it's not fun. So um, yeah. Right. Okay. So let's get the tug on the way. Let's get him over here. Passengers are 90% satisfied. Currently doing a good job back there, Bruno. Keeping them calm. Departure nine minutes, so we're on time. Atlanta departure, Delta 2019, over at J Bravo 22, requesting IFR to Philadelphia. All right, so we've got a tug on the way. Let's uh, lock the cockpit door now. Release uh, the parking brake. And uh, let's get some pushback here. So... Before I forget, let's bring the camera back up here, and uh, let's get uh, let's get a move on. Turn our transponder on so they can see what we're doing up in the tower. And that guy didn't move. Nice one, dude. Okay. Oh, wrong way as always. Today. I'm turning the ATC up now because we'll need to be able to listen to that. Let's start engine 2. Skyhawk 196 run up is complete. November 196 uh, fly heading uh, 0, 090, zero, runway 21 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 21 left, heading 090, zero, zero, Skyhawk 196 all right, that's not, not a terrible pushback, I don't think. So let's set the parking brake. And we can tell the tug to uh, to do one. All right, Delta 1013, runway 9 left at Mike 2, taxi via Mike, Mike 2. Mike, Mike 2, uh, Delta 7 heavy, at six, runway eight left, clear land. It's, it's strange that you don't have to call for pushback because 
what if there's loads of aircraft parked here and, and, uh, and they're wanting to push back too? How do you like coordinate with them? Delta 1230, RNAV lightest, from a 9 or left, then Mike 2, clear for takeoff. All right, so we've got engine 2. Wait. Clear for takeoff, Mike 2, uh, 0 9 left, Delta 12. It'd probably help if I turned on the Delta APU, please. Delta 1, cross 8, right and on the Delta, bumps. joint box, <laughs> right to the ramp. Let's turn this cruise supply oxygen on as well and the beacon light. God, I forgot everything. I was so I was so focused on everything else. Delta 14, 40, 43, runway 9 left at Mike 2, line from way. I'll line up away down Mike 2, Delta 14, got all the slides armed. Delta 1958, have line approach. We're Delta 457 for your reference, guys. My approach, Delta 2298 with you with information Foxtrot. Delta 2298, Atlanta approach, it's going to be 9 right. Roger, expect 9 right, Delta 2298. Let's just get the ATIS again. Delta 1958, 787, 1, feet. Let's just get the ATIS again, just uh, make sure we've got the up-to-date one. Delta 170, short of Lima, ready taxi. Delta 170, Atlanta approach, starting with C, runway 9 or left, track with your mic, mic 2. Let's see Mike, Mike 2 to 9 left, and Delta 170. Delta 1958, Atlanta Bridge. Alright, let's get the ATIS, let's print that one out. November 1, at 9 or 6, 4, 6. Grab Radar it. contact. Information Fox Struts. Cool. Roger, Skyhawk 1646. All right. Delta cool. 1958, Atlanta approach. That engine one. Plane taking off just there in the distance. Love it. Love it. I love these airports where you've got a lot of activity going on. It's so, so cool. Okay, so we're expecting taxi, like I said, via Lima or uh, Tango, then Lima. Or Mike, then Lima, sorry. Or, yeah, it could be Lima, Tango, Mike, or uh, just American Lima. American 2774, here it is again. Check that out. Okay, uh, going around, what's going on uh, with the engines? I could have sworn that I'd just screwed up. Mike, you from Charlie 497 Heavy, or Roger, turn on, uh, you know what, fly, heading 070, maintain 4000. Uh, heading 070 and maintain 4000. Uh, what is going on? Why isn't the engine starting up? Have I completely missed something here? Roger. Oh, oh, my igniter didn't come on. Oh. Oh, yeah, weird. Okay. Let me just change my controls real quick. I think I've got the wrong preset on here. That's why it didn't turn my igniters on. Uh, there we go. And let's set this to A32 and X. Yeah. <laughs> that could have been catastrophic. Oh, dear. Uh, what are you writing down on the paper in front of you? I'm writing the, uh, well, I've got my flight number and my uh, stand and various frequencies and basically the ATC stuff that I need to remember. Alright, cool. So I've got one good engine start now, finally. Alright, cool. <laughs> Let's get on the way uh, momentarily here then, guys. Let's get our predictive wind shear on as well. Turn our weather radar on as well and make sure that's on quite dim. Um, I haven't done any of my checklists today because I'm a bit rusty. I haven't done the A320 in a while, so uh, we'll get. We'll do those in a second. We'll do the after start checklist. Um, let's just make sure the an engine anti ice on is on. Um, and we'll just go on to here. 
and just check our CG to 29.8 so let's set the trim to that real quick okay cool so after start checklist anti-ice is uh, engine uh, anti-ice is on ecam status is checked charlotte 497 i have a reroute to charlotte so pitch trim is uh, set to 9.8 okay, uh, and uh, the rudder trim is zero so after start checklist completed let's go uh, engine mode selected to charlotte normal your radar vector is jonesy for the jonesy one. one arrival into charlotte and uh, let's release the parking brake and taxi on down to spot uh, one Sierra. Okay, uh, radar vector, um, Charlotte, uh, John V and John V1 arrival into Charlotte. The generic one, I guess that should be for six direct John V now. Uh, Mikey from Charlie 497 Heavy, uh, not right now, turn right, heading 100, maintain 14,000. So hopefully it should have the ground marking for what spot one Sierra. Uh, Mike, sorry, this is approach for Delta 1432, we change uh, 3CR this right This frequency now. is so busy. Delta 1443. Alexander, uh, thank you very much, dude. Runway 911 to Mike 2, quick takeoff. No worries, uh, runway 911, please for the All right, so here we are, spot uh, 1 Sierra. Let's just Delta break on down here. Runway 911 to Mike 2, line from weight. Line from weight, I'm on Delta 10. So 1423, was that you calling? Affirmative, sir. So 1423, runway 9 or left at Mike 2, take me at Mike, Mike 2. Roger, Mike, 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 Mike 2, Delta 1423. Delta 457 at spot 1 Sierra Information, Fox Trot, request taxi. Delta 457, runway 9 or left at Mike 2, take me at Mike, Mike 2. Taxi to 9 left via Mike, Mike 2, Delta 457. Rick 2232, Mike check. Uh, 555. Alright, so Mike, Mike 2 then. Delta so we are going to go straight forwards, take a right down here. And then uh, and left 1230, straight away, more, almost the first left. Delta 1443, rate of contact, say altitude. 1500. Hey, Ian, thank so you very 10, much for 13, the 100 stars. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. All right, so let's look at our signs here. So um, this is Lima right here. It's weird that he didn't say Lima first, actually. But we want to go Mike here. Oh, we've got lots of aircraft down here. Setting up great. And then uh, Mike is this one, I believe. Mike, Charlie 497 Heavy. Uh, uh, climb maintain 14,000. Contact the Venice Center 132.9 or 7 today. Okay, climb maintain 14,000 and the Venice Center on uh, 132.9. Alright, let's get on to Mike. This should, be, this should be Mike right here. None of the signs are facing my way, that's so weird. I know you're busy. No rush. Did you say that you had sent a PDC, or we could expect a PDC? And then this is Mike 2 here, uh, where this guy's waiting. If I was talking about a PDC, I was writing it at that very moment. Uh, where are you going? South Florida? Okay, it's going to be 9 or less. I just sent it again for you. Roger, thank you. We didn't receive it the first time because of the uh, problem with my pilot client, but uh, we did receive this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Delta 1443, rate of contact, say altitude. Uh, Alright, so let's get ready for takeoff while we're waiting for this guy to move on here. Uh, we're pretty much good to go, to be honest. Uh, AP can come off. Uh, taxi light should be on, really. Um, turn the wing light on. Uh, okay. Quick uh, uh, flight controls control. check. Roger, I'm sorry about that. No problem. Uh, Delta 2298. Left. It's going to maintain 7,000. All right. Neutral. Pull up. Pull down. Neutral. Pull left. Delta 170. Pull right. 
Uh, Neutral, okay. For flight heading uh, 110. All right, so before takeoff checklist, flight controls are checked, flight instruments are checked, checked. briefing is confirmed and done, flap setting is 1 plus F, uh, V speeds are going to B. Oh, actually, I haven't even done that. Holy crap, good thing we have a checklist. Uh, one flex to 66, uh, transition should be 18,000, I believe, in the US. I'll double check that in a sec. All right, that clear to NDV, the Barnum and then V1, VR, and then V2. So V speeds V1 is 131, V2 is 132, and then V2 is 136. Confirmed. ATC is set. Uh, ECAM memo is takeoff. No blue, not just yet. All right, let's okay. uh, arm doors and seats for takeoff. Captain crew, you can go ahead and arm the doors. Thank you. Captain crew, take your seats for takeoff. Please. Four, eleven. Here's the ECAM memo is takeoff, no blue. Takeoff runway is nine left. Cabin crew are advised. TCAS, uh, T A R A. Engine mode selector is normal and packs are on. All right, cool. So we are good to go. Line up and way, runway nine left, Delta 457. Delta 1443, contact center, 132.97, good day. 3297, good day, Delta 1443. Can you guys see the Delta ATC 10, okay? Uh, 13, turn left, heading 110 immediately. 110, Delta 13. Delta 2298, looks like you missed the turn there. Turn left heading 250. Landing left lights on, takeoff light like on, energy. strobes can come on as well. To the 170, 2500, climbing 1000, 110 heading. Delta 170, Atlanta for a trader contact, and maintain uh, uh, 5000, please. Going up to 5,000. Yeah, heavy on the brakes, sir. Approach American 2774 at uh, 8 Carol. Fox Shred Race. Alright, parking brake is set. American 277. And we're just waiting for our spacing now. It, Looks like we've got some traffic behind us as well. Uh, Very cool. Let's see, it's going to be uh, 9 or less for you. 9 or less. Uh, American 2774. Affirm clear for taxi. Delta 1013, turn left, heading 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 9, 0 uh, Delta Cool, thanks and for letting me know. Delta 1013, climbing to 14,000. Thanks for letting me know on the volume. 14,000, Delta Center. Delta 1060, maintain 12,000. So maintain 12,000, Delta 1060. Delta 457, RNAV Lightus, probably 9 left at Mike 2, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Delta 457. All right, so hold it on the tow brakes, 50% and one. Release brakes and up to flex. American 2774, runway 9 or left at Mike 2, check to be a Mike, Mike 2. Mike, Mike 2, runway 9 or left, American 9, er, direction 2774. All right. Delta 1013, contact center, 132.97, good day. I always forget to put my side stick forward when I'm on the roll. 100 knots. Delta 170, climbing, chain 10,000, and... V1, right, one and five rotate. Five I'll get you direct here in place. 10,000, right, one five zero. Delta 170. Gear up. Delta 2132, approaching spot 27, left at mic 2. Delta 2132, Roman left at mic 2, take to be a mic, mic 2. Mic, mic 2, Delta 2132. Uh, yep. Delta 1423, runway 9 left at Mike 2, line up and wait. Sorry, line up and wait, Delta 1423. Alright, Jeff Lou 329, spot 3 south, taxi 9 left. Jeff Lou 329, runway 9 left at Mike 2, taxi via Mike, Mike 2 behind that Delta A320. Accelerating. Delta 170, turn left heading 190, up to 1-4000. Left to 190 up to 14,000. And uh, that is the autopilot engaged. 
American 2774, give way to the Jet Blue A320 out of Ramp 3. Give way to the Jet Blue, American 2774. Why is he accelerating all the way through? Uh, Atlanta departure, Delta 2019 over yeah, good, at ramp good, 2, good. south side, ready, taxi to 9 or left. Delta 170, I'm sorry sir, turn right, heading 270, I was pointing yeah, out Yeah, so the transition day. altitude is checked, okay. is uh, well, 18,000 here right in the US. And uh, we're going on up here right, into the clouds, guys. Uh, Delta 2298, turn on right, heading 320, to maintain 3,000. A right heading 320, descend and maintain, I missed that. 3000 for 2298. Alright, so we're up here. We're uh, Atlanta departure, Delta 2019, ready to taxi to 9 or left. Woo, yeah! Delta 1423, are now lightest from a 9 or left at my That's a pretty steep takeoff. angle of attack. Got another Part aircraft over left. there. Take off from a zero nine. Uh, Delta 1423. Delta 1067 Alright, so I have to start checklist. Landing gear is up, flaps are retracted, packs. Delta 457 radar contact, stay off the test. I'm sure it says packs on here where when the packs are usually on, but uh, for some reason they're not. Delta 457, stay off the test. Uh, passing through 9,000, uh, leveling at 10,000, Delta 457. Delta 457, climb maintain 14,000, contact center 132.9 or 7 today. Climb to 13,000, uh, contact center on uh, 132.9 75, Delta 457. Delta 170, turn right, heading 290. All right, so Contact cleared up to 13,000. 290, 132, 97, Delta 170. And uh, we're going to center on 132.975. 132.97, Skyhawk 196, good day. Atlanta departure, Delta 2019, ready to attack you, 9 or left. Oh, God, that, sound, that guy sounds annoyed. Right. Hopefully Holy crap, I hope, hope this frequency is a bit less crowded. Can you play this using the keyboard and mouse? Uh, no. Climb and maintain level 350, Delta 457. Atlanta Center, Skyhawk 196464. Oh god, these, these dials are so slow today. It must be something to do with my frame rate. There we go. Remember, one nine six four six Monica Center. Hello. Beautiful. Okay, so we've been cleared up to fly level three five zero. Let's set standard pressure, uh, and we'll just turn down V pilot a little bit. I'm not really expecting too much more for a little while. Um, but can you play this only with a keyboard and mouse? No, you can play it with. Um, I mean, I'm not, as you can see here. I'm using a. I'm using yeah, a. Request Hang on one second, guys. Let me just sort my volume out. Close to Zangi, it happens. Athens, all similar. He's a 295. Right. How's that for volume? Some people might get. All right, cool. So, yeah, you can play it obviously using a keyboard and mouse. Uh, you can play it using a joystick and throttle quadrant, whatever you want to do, as you can see here. Um, you can also use an Xbox controller, you know, whatever it takes you fancy. But a uh, joystick is by far the best experience, in my opinion. It's so much better than using an Xbox controller. All right, cool. So let's turn our nose lights off. And uh, we are underway here, guys. Beautiful. Uh, let's turn off the seatbelt signs. Uh, come on. There we go. Let's see what's going on here, because I feel like my computer is struggling a lot here. Jet 44 contact, Indy Center, 109.55. Well, you're good, I said. Switch it on. 
Oh well. Mike Trolley Alpha zero three three at Lana Center. Hello. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm on VATSIM and uh, there's a lot of aircraft around me. Seven zero five or re re advise for the captain. All right, cool. So, yeah, that was a pretty nice departure. Absolutely loving this livery. It's so freaking good. Absolutely beautiful. Loving it. Right, cool. All right, guys. So, um, let's see what our ETA is here on the uh, on the MCDU so uh, 2119 so just about an hour to go um, so there's only one thing for it guys there's only one thing for it guys who's ready for who's ready for a bit of a a bit of a quiz We've got a bit of a quiz lined up for today i need to find my uh I need to find my uh, my questions here. So. But uh, yeah, who's down for a quiz? Type type yes in the quiz if you're down for a down for a quiz. Whilst we're in the cruise here. Delta nineteen fifty eight contact Jack Center one three five point nine or two. One three five point nine or two Delta nineteen fifty eight here. Seven zero Papa Cross D e Han at eight thousand. The Atlanta altimeter two nine hundred eighty two. Mark's down for a quiz. Steve is down for a quiz. D e Han at to maintain eight thousand. The Atlanta altimeter two nine hundred eighty two. All right, guys. Love to see the enthusiasm. November six four six. Advise whether or not the Alpha two eight runway. All right. Air just before I do that, before I forget. Um, Ian as well, apologies if I miss your uh, stars earlier on, but uh, appreciate that, thank you very much, very generous, thank you for the 100 stars. Daniel as well, thank you very much for the follow, I hope you're well and having a fantastic week, welcome to the stream. Alright, I'm just going to change the thumbnail real quick. There we go, there's the thumbnail. It's on now. What do you guys reckon to the thumbnail? Big fan. You got the Delta livery. You got the Pentagon in the background. You got the this river here that I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Beautiful. Across the Ubu, outer above 4,000 here, Arnav runway 6, approach straight in, Skyhawk 19646. American 247, contact approach 12517 today. Alright, okay, let's do the quiz then, guys. Delta 1013, maintain chase or not to the transition, Mach 76. Uh, we'll maintain 76 Delta 17. Delta 175 maintain uh, flyable 320 Mach 7, 7 or greater in transition. 7, 7 or greater up to level 320 Delta. Right, okay, let's do it guys. So, first question. So, sorry, I'll introduce the quiz first of all so you guys know what to expect at least. 7 kilo Mike, Washington offline, 6 to change your crew, okay. Oh. Alright, so. We've got three categories again like the the first one we did um first category is going to be regarding uh atlanta airport which is where we've just departed the second category is going to be about the a320 itself and the fourth third category even is going to be about um Why has this uh, frequency just gone so quiet all of a sudden? Hang on, let me just... Oh, okay, I guess it's just gone quiet. 
Um, yeah, so the second category is going to be the A320, and the third category is going to be about um, charts, basically, or sort of, yeah, more about charts, really. Um, that's the Potomac River, if that's uh, KDCA. Yes, Mid it is, yeah. I'm actually closing your Shelly Monitor Advisor once you think it in. Okay, the center control is actually going offline. Okay, so, are we ready, guys? We're about to get underway here with the quiz. Thanks, Rex. This is 7. I'm going to be closing the Shirley Modern Advisory 1 QQ claim today. 22 8, thanks to Atlantic Kings for some. Delta 1230, Washington offline, fix the change of crew today. Okay, this is change approved, Delta 1230, good day. Number 646, six, traffic service, you and you in the field. Uh, no one to report I for cancellation, so you can just monitor advice for 1228, have a good day. Let's just get 1228. Two advisory, Scott, went out of 646, thanks for your help. Delta 1013, uh, okay, we're closing shortly, monitor advisory 1228, okay. It sounds like this Delta guy's... Delta 170, closing shortly, monitor advisory 1228, okay. Guy's contacting everyone before he goes offline, so. One night golf. Uh, a lot of centers closing. Registers from eight is to change crews today. One night golf. Uh, Twenty two eight. We'll see. Nice. X ray alpha zero three three. A lot of centers closing. Registers from eight is to change your crews today. Thank you for having me. Delta twenty one thirty two. I'm just going to wait for him to contact me before we start the quiz. Delta 457, thank you for the ATC. Delta 1443, monitor by three. Okay, there we go, we're on Unicorn now. Beautiful. Okay, doke, let's just check. I'm just checking the uh, ATC coverage just before uh, we do the quiz, just so I'm not going to be surprised by anyone coming online. Right, so we're reaching our cruising altitude here. And it looks like we're not going to run into any more ATC for a little while. Um, they have logged off over in Washington now, unfortunately. So fingers crossed someone comes online there soon. But uh, failing that, I mean, it's not a big issue because then that means we can do the visual approach without issue. <laughs> All right, cool. Leaf, welcome to the chat. Good to see you again. I uh, did have a, a nice weekend. Thank you very much for asking. I hope you did too. Where are we flying today? We're flying in the eastern uh, US and we're flying currently from uh, Atlanta to uh, Washington DC. We're going to be landing at Ronald Reagan uh, Airport and hoping for the river visual approach, which I'm very excited about. It was very fun last time we did it, so very, very cool. Uh, 430 miles to go, just under an hour uh, left in the flight. Um, however, you've tuned in just at a fantastic time because we're about to get underway with a quiz. Um, so. Without further ado, guys, let's get on with it. So first category is going to be regarding Atlanta Airport. So first question, and uh, let me just get a page here so I can make a note of the um, scores. Um, it's going to work very similar to how the previous quizzes have worked. So first person to get the correct answer is going to get a point, and, uh, and that's essentially how it works. So first question is... Now, um, this is a bit more of a difficult one to do, I suppose, on stream. 
Um, but I will take the first answer within um, within sort of 5,000 either side of the right answer. So the first question is um, Atlanta Airport uh, employs how many thousand people? I'll accept the, like I say, within a margin of 5,000 either side. Atlanta Airport employs how many thousand people? I'm going to wait for a few answers to come in. 900,000. <laughs> seen any correct answers yet but uh, I'll wait for a few to come in what year um, well I'm just taking mine off um, recent statistics I read it on a couple of pages earlier on so I guess relatively recently Hundred and ten million. Holy! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it sixty seconds, and then I'm gonna give it to the closest person. So I'm starting my stopwatch. Sixty seconds. Now I'm giving it to the correct, uh, the closest person. year or per day um, the, I, I don't know in specific it's just how many people do they employ I've got that nice 72 knot tailwind on now beautiful ground speed 524 knots very nice can't complain all right, five seconds. Five seconds. And that's it. So the correct answer is in fact 63,000 people. And the closest answer that I can see is, uh, it's Steve. Steve Aya with the 55,300. Beautiful. Okay, nicely done, Steve, on the scoreboard. Oh, I thought we said passengers. I was wondering why you were saying so many. <laughs> Oops. Leaf, dude, thank you very much for the 178 stars. Appreciate that, dude. Very generous as you, of you, as always. Uh, show some support to Bobby as a great host and give some stars for an amazing stream. Thank you very much. Appreciate the kind words. Um, I'm glad uh, you feel like my uh, my content deserves some kind of compensation, which appreciated. Very kind. All right, cool. So nicely done, Steve. First of all, with the correct answer, like I say, that was 63,000 employees, which is pretty freaking crazy for an airport. Okay, and um, so uh, Atlanta Airport has a river that runs through it and underneath it in various forms. Uh, what is the name of that river? Leaf, thank you very much for sharing the stream, buddy. Appreciate that, man. Very, very kind. Thank you, thank you. So which river flows underneath the Atlanta airport? Uh, 
And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm using the chat that you can see on the screen here so I can uh, we can easily see who's the first at answering. Flint River, Flying Stew is in there with a point. That is the correct answer. Flint River, sorry, Lack, just a tiny bit too late there. <laughs> Nicely done, Mr. Flying Stew. All right, great stuff. Next, uh, next question I hinted on slightly at the start of the stream. Which airline has its headquarters at Atlanta Airport? Which airline has its headquarters at Atlanta Airport. Boom, Steve's in there. Delta. Nicely done. Beautiful. Alright, Steve's smashing it again. Nicely done, nicely done. Lots of deltas, lots of deltas. Very nicely done, everybody. Cool. All right. Beautiful. Next question. So, Atlanta Airport was built on top of a racetrack. What was the name of the racetrack? There he is again, straight in, Atlanta Speedway. Steve, nicely done. <laughs> and sorry, like, just a tiny bit too late there again. Unfortunate. Nicely done, Steve. Steve is uh, taking us for a ride here, guys. Someone needs to step up and, and challenge. <laughs> All right, nicely done. Atlanta Speedway is the correct answer. <laughs> Right, final question for the Atlanta themed questions. Uh, Atlanta Airport has the tallest um, what in North America? Atlanta Airport has the tallest what in North America? Or probably a better phrasing would be Atlanta Airport has North America's tallest I'm going to need the exact answer. There he goes. Steve is in there with... Uh, not Steve, sorry. Um, Paul is in there with the correct answer. With air traffic... Uh, air traffic tower, I'll take. Nicely done, Paul. All right, so he's got himself on the leaderboard. Paul Wilson with one point. All right, great stuff, cool. So, that's uh, the Atlanta theme questions. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. I needed to, I needed, I should have probably said um, I need the specific answer, but um, yeah, that was a little bit of a, a little bit more of an easy one. So I wanted to at least, you know, get some specifics. All right. So first of all, uh, in the next round, we're going to be, um, these questions are going to be themed around the A320. 
obviously the aircraft were flying today and my frame rate is uh, really still very terrible hopefully we don't get any crashes after this <laughs> i am sorry Steve, uh, dave <laughs> i am sorry buddy i feel like there's been a couple of cases where that's happened now all right cool um I'm just going to check real quick uh, my temps on my computer, just on the off chance that there's something funky going on. Uh... Okie dokie. Right, so, first question in the A320 round. What, uh, what is this box right here? What is the name of it? I'll take the acronym or the full name, whatever you want to give me. Basically, what is the name of this box? Saw a bad gateway message at the top of the screen. For. Tom B, welcome to the chat. Good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Quick on the answers there, but unfortunately they are not the correct answers. There he goes, Lax in there. He's got a point. Finally, Lax. Nicely done. <laughs> MCDU is the correct answer. Nicely done, dude. Nicely done. <laughs> All right, cool. Next question. All right, so in the simulator, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, what engines does this uh, A320 Neo have? There's no way of telling by looking at the engines, really. Um, but the sound can give it away, and uh, it does say on the main menus, etc. as well. But what engines are these uh, simulating? <laughs> I'm not seeing any correct answers yet, actually. Unless, unless I've got my terminology wrong. Let me just check myself. I'm having, to, I'm having to check my answers here, guys, because um, I'm, I'm second guessing my, my answer here, but I don't think I'm seeing any correct answers as of yet.
do 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 um no i'm not i'm not i'm not seeing the correct answer as of yet i'll give you a clue i'll give you a clue there it is <laughs> leap 1a is the right answer by cfm nicely done flying stew I believe the CFM, I thought, okay, I was second guessing myself when everybody said CFM 56, but I believe that's an older, slightly older model. Beautiful, nicely done flying Stu, getting himself another point there on the scoreboard. All right, beautiful. I was about to give you a clue. <laughs> I was about to give you a clue, as it does say, if you go to here, uh, there we go. Anyway, next question. <laughs> God bless Google, indeed. Um, all right, so who is the first carrier to fly the A320 Neo? Um, I mean, uh, the Neo specifically. Uh, yes, it is the Neo, yeah. <laughs> Not seeing any correct answers just yet. There it is, Steve's in there. Lufthansa is the correct answer. Nicely done, Steve. Smashing it once again. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Next question. Next question. Right, so what year was the original A320... Excuse me, what year was the original A320 introduced? <laughs> there he is again, Steve coming in with the correct answer, which is 1988. Nicely done, Steve. I'm not going to tell you what score Steve's on at the moment, because... Uh... <laughs> I guess, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's not looking good for the rest of you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Man, Steve. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Launched in 1987, introduced in 1988, yeah. <laughs> it's a small technicality, isn't it? Dear, oh, dear. All right, cool. So, um, what is the name of the infamous joystick? What is the Airbus term for this 
device here. There it is. Black's got himself another point. It is the side stick. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Nicely done, Lack. Good stuff. Lots of correct answers coming in from everybody. Unfortunately, Lack's beaten you to it. Maybe Steve's connection will drop out. <laughs> I mean, we've still got another round after this, so it could all change. It could all change. All right, cool. Now, I'm not, I wasn't entirely sure on how to phrase this next question. Um, so hopefully this makes sense. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if anyone gets it. If, yeah, we'll see if anyone gets it. All right, so in standard operation, the A320 provides three axis control, flight envelope protection and maneuver load um, alleviation um, under which Airbus law? The Airbus operates under various different laws and I'm uh, just asking for the name of the law which is um, mainly used by the Airbus during standard operation bit more of a difficult one here but let's see, You've got to mix it up <laughs> Portuguese flying stew just naming all the laws here but it is normal law that is the correct answer well done nicely done he's on the scoreboard again he's bringing himself back cool all right nicely done flying stew normal law is the correct answer apologies if my phrasing wasn't the best there but I, I tried to uh, give it as, uh, as 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 good as I could <laughs> All right, cool. All right, so next question is, uh, sorry, the next few questions rather are all about uh, charts, but uh, let's see how you get on with these. Well, they're not all about charts, actually. I took a lot of the references off charts, but, um, well, actually, I tell it like most of them are. This first one is a bit different. All right, guys, so this is an image taken from an overview chart on um, from the Jefferson charts. And it's quite a simple question. What airport is that? There's a pretty big clue in the image at the back in the middle. Well, that's all I'm going to say. Got him. <laughs> there he is again Steve coming in I'm going to take that answer because it's, it can't be any other airport um, beautiful nicely done Steve it's, uh, it's the airport that we're flying to today Ronald Reagan Everyone Reagan really Airport in uh, Washington. I'll take that. Nicely done. Alright, so. 
these next few questions may be a bit harder, um, but we'll see. I tried to keep it relatively straightforward, but we'll see. Is it getting wrong if he misspells it? <laughs> I mean, I knew what he put, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to give him that. Well, not unfortunately, but I am going to have to give him that. <laughs> All right, so next one is uh, this little snippet here from a chart, this magenta circle and this HS1. Uh, what is that indicating? Now, I'll give you a small clue. The HS is, um, you know, it's, it's an acronym for what it is showing. guys are all kind of on the right lines but it's not I'm not seeing the correct answer so I'll give you a, a bit of context as to where this would be relevant so this would be relevant say in an airport that has uh, a lot of ground traffic and this area is something that a pilot would need to be aware of when taxiing It's not hold short. There it is. Steve is absolutely killing it here. It is a hot spot. Stands for hot spot. Wow. Nicely done, Steve. <laughs> Steve, my brother. <laughs> Right, nicely done. All right. Just checking my approach charts here before we um, get too far into this as we're sort of approaching our destination. Uh, I'm just going to get a meter for... Washington all right cool next question so this next image we're gonna be using uh, we've got a couple of questions based on this and uh, whoa that's a bit too big there we go okay so on this diagram here uh, you've got a bunch of different boxes and um, You've got numbers inside the box. What are the numbers indicating? Mm. All right. Um. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Tom that answer. I'm gonna give Tom that one. It's saying max safe altitude quadrant. Um, I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't think that's the exact terminology, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give him that because he was so quick on the mark. I feel like he deserves that. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, cool. So, um, next question is based on the same chart. Wait, how many questions have we done so far? Let me just refresh my memory. One, two, three. All right, cool. So yeah, we've got two more questions based on this chart. Um, okay, so you've got black lines as well and um, some letters and numbers in these black boxes 
what uh, what are they indicating? There we go. Tom's in there again. He's got it. He's got it. Answer his airways. Nicely done. All right, let's just see how our passengers are doing real quick. We haven't really been paying attention. 99% satisfied. Absolutely stellar job in the cabin there. Fine to you. Nicely done. Beautiful. All right. Cool. So... Final question. Um, so, in the top left of this chart here, it's probably not the best indication, um, but you can see, um, you can see there's like a green line going across there, and it says, there's a uh, Zulu Lima Hotel Whiskey, uh, Lanzu, uh, FIR. Uh, what does the FIR stand for? This is a final question. No, I'm not seeing the correct answer just yet. <laughs> Come on, Steve. <laughs> All you need to do is wait, and uh, I'm sure... I'm sure you'll come back with the right answer at some point. <laughs> There he is. All you had to do is wait, guys. All we had to do is wait. Flight information region is the correct answer. Nicely done, Steve. Nicely done. All right, guys. So I think we all know who the winner is here. <laughs> and uh, well done, Steve. Steve has won uh, with a total of eight points. Even with Google, I suck. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Maybe next time, guys. Maybe next time. Well, appreciate you all taking part anyway. It's, it's a lot of fun doing that. So, uh, yeah, appreciate that. Thank you. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Who won? Uh, I think you could probably guess. But it's, uh, it's Mr. Steve. Mr. Ayer. Uh, has, uh, has won that one. All right, cool. So let's just work out our descent profile here as we're getting quite close. All right, so we need about 150 miles to descend. Uh, we've got 120 miles left. Uh, I'm actually going to pull that now. So I'm going to start descending down to 10,000 to begin with. And uh, we'll just get uh, some other things verified before we get uh, too low down. Just while we've been doing the quiz there, I've just been inputting the weather information and uh, just setting up the arrival. Uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm actually going to just clear out this waypoint here. Wait, what's happened there? OK, 
Okay, it's cleared it out. Well, yeah, I think we're good. Going direct to Bully, which I'll take. Wasn't expecting it to do that, but okay. All right, cool. And let's just go on to the plan mode real quick and zoom this in. I just want to have a quick look at what what is actually done with our routing here. So, okay, cool. So it takes us down and then a left turn towards Fergie there. Cool, and that's where we'll start the visual approach. So we want to be at Fergie at 3,000 is a recommended altitude. Um, so yeah, that's fine. We should be on profile then for that. Uh, I've inf input our perf into the approach page. Sorry, not our perf. Um, I've input our weather information into the uh, approach page on the performance section. So, um, yeah. Should be good to go. Yeah, we are getting pretty good ground speed. There's this nice little tailwind here. Um, it's probably a good thing I pulled this a bit earlier, actually, because... Um, yeah, because... Um, yeah, we've got that tailwind, so we're probably not going to descend quite as, as quickly as uh, as uh, normal there is actually a rule of thumb to work that out but I honestly can't remember it off the top of my head I think it's like one mile per what 10 knots or something like that something like that all right cool so we are going down the wind is zero five zero at 10 knots so um, looking at the airport itself I mean it's probably not the best runway to go for but let's go for it it is the longest so let's do it I think this is the main runway that they use as well so I don't really think there's going to be too many issues there and um, yeah, let's give you guys a quick uh, approach briefing um, before we uh, do our approach checklist. All right, guys, so jumping on over to our EFB, uh, we are currently descending down the SID, which at the moment, well, is CAPS 3. Um, to be honest, I think we're a bit high for this SID. Um, let's see, actually. Yeah, we're actually kind of... Uh, we're way too high for these uh, waypoints. Um, but we're just going to have to continue because there's no way we're going to get down to these altitudes and meet these. Um, as long as we hit 3,000 when we get to uh, um, Bergy, I'm not too concerned. So this is going to take us down this way. Uh, we'll try and meet this speed restriction. In fact, this is a strange SID because it wants you to descend very early, doesn't it? Interesting. Probably should have checked that a bit earlier, really, shouldn't I? But we had the quiz. All right, so we are descending down here, like I say. Um, 9,000 is a mandatory at Hoyers, but again, like I say, I think I'm just gonna ignore these for now. Um, we're gonna make our way down this way. Take a left turn, uh, then through BAM. Uh, then this is gonna take us to PAC, and then basically um, from here, you would obviously get radar vectors, as it says here. Um, so obviously we've got no ATC so we're not going to get radar vectors and uh, basically what we're going to do instead that will take us to the left here instead what we're going to do is we're going to do the river visual approach which is uh, is this one and it should be a lot of fun it's, it was very very enjoyable last time we did it and uh, basically what that involves is just following the Potomac River uh, down uh, using these 
bridges as sort of um, visual reference points. Uh, along with on the left hand side, you've obviously got the um, the memorial here and Capitol Hill building. Um, so following this down, and then basically down onto 19 uh, runway 19. Sorry. Um, <laughs> last time what I did was I actually cut in far too early here and I started lining up for this runway so I'll try not to do that this time um, so that's going to be the approach we're taking it should be a lot of fun um, yeah looking forward to this one and um, just as a final um, note uh, they actually added these charts recently to Navigraph which is really nice you get to see a nice little photo of the, the runway you'll be approaching um, which is uh, runway 19 for us. It's got a three degrees, um, three degree Pappy um, or Vazzy. Um, and uh, runway 15 can be mistaken for this runway. Avoid lining up with or landing on runway 15. I almost did that. I started lining up for it. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> cool. All right, so it's got a displaced threshold as well. And um, that's about it, really. Um, when we land, we're going to be landing on 19 here. We'll probably leave at Mike and then come down and park at... Um, I'm not sure which gate, actually, would be appropriate for Delta. I will check that on our way down. Um, but, yeah, we'll probably come off at Mike or Golf 1 and then uh, make our way up onto um, Juliet and then uh, up one of these ways or just straight on to... Um, straight through golf and then on to kilo um yeah and we'll find a place to park i don't think it's particularly busy on vatsim uh, for this airport at the moment so i don't think we need to worry too much about that and then if i overlay this on the map here you can kind of see the route we're going to take so we'll come down our sid which is this green line here um and then we're going to take a, a swing of right around onto fergie and then follow the river So there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. It'll be good. I'm really looking forward to this. It was very enjoyable last time. It'd be great if you could pop out, uh, pop your iPad out and move it around the cockpit. Yeah, that would be really cool, actually. Yeah, 100%. All right, we're through our transition altitude, so the QNH is 30.07, so a little bit of a higher pressure here than in um, Atlanta. Let's just verify that with a B. Okay, that's totally different. Interesting. Am I looking at the right meter here? Yes, I am. Wow, okay. The altimeter on the meter is, is quite far off the in-game. Um, The in-game, uh, what you call it, meter or pressure reading, should I say? Um, but we're descending uh, pretty nicely here. Let's see how far we've got to go. We've got 36 miles left and 14,000 feet. We're at currently, so 14 times three is uh, 38, 42. We need about 52 miles, um, so we're, we're pretty high on profile here. So before we get to 10,000 feet, let's just speed up a bit. And uh, get a bit of spoilers out there as well, just to give us a pretty high descent rate. Let's try and catch this profile up here. Um, but yeah, like I say, with the iPad, it would be great to pop it out. I think once they fully implement this, you will be able to do uh, a right alt. As you, you can actually do it now. Um, it just brings up a blank screen. So you press right alt, and you can actually, um, you know, just bring it up as a window like that. Is this a 330? No, it's not. It's uh, this is a 320 Neo.
I wonder if I got my... Did I get my initial calculation wrong here? 35 times 3. No, I didn't. Interesting. Uh, I guess it was that tailwind that just cooked us there on the descent. Um, let's level off. Let's slow down, otherwise the passengers... Oh, I forgot we're still on VATSIM. Um, yeah, so the passengers are going to be a little bit pissed off that we went over 250 knots. Ring traffic, Delta goes over to the top of our final landing one, lights on. One, traffic in sight. Way turn off lights as well. Checking the cloud cover here because uh, I want to make sure we can actually do this visual here. We might not be able to, but it looks like the lowest clouds are at 5,500 feet. So I think we should be fine. Uh, we do have severe ice detected apparently. Uh, let's turn our engine mode selector to ignite and uh, we'll just turn on the wing anti ice as well. All right, let's bring the speed brakes back in. Now we'll set our auto brake to low, arm the spoilers, and we'll do our approach checklist. So approach checklist is uh, briefing is confirmed, ECAM status is checked. Uh, landing distance is uh, 24 miles. Seat belts are as required. Barrow ref is 29.71. Uh, 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 both sides are set. Minimums are set at 3,500 feet. Um, as that is the uh, you know the minimum visibility you need to do the approach. And then engine mode selector is uh, continuous. Just got a ping from uh, a controller. Uh, one nine at nine at decimal nine at nine at eight. Wait, what? Oh, it means one one nine decimal eight five. Good day, American. Uh, 2774 descending on the uh, Cavalier arrival. American 2774 Potomac approach, Ident. Ident. Approach afternoon, Delta 1423, which is 6000. Delta 1423, Potomac approach, Ident. Potomac, Potomac approach, uh, Delta 457, uh, passing 4,000 feet for 3,000. Delta 457, become correct. Same goes for you, I don't, please. There you go. Hit I don't for the guy. Delta I don't 1423, know. radar contact, about four miles east of Capitol. I don't think that's VR working, six, so I'll just click it on that soon. Altimeter 3003, expect ILS runway 1 center approach. I'm sorry, 19 right. center. Roger, sir, runway 1800. Doesn't look like we can do the river visual uh, here, to be honest, guys. The clouds are too low. Tell what the first level is 538 through 10,000, either rate 6. Southwest 538, Potomac approach, IDENT. Yeah, we're probably going to have to change our approach here, guys. That's unfortunate. Delta 15 zero, or correction, 5703 Potomac approach to the wind, 0907 runway, 19 center, cleared land. Approach uh, Delta 1423. America 2774, radar contact about five miles west of the Brook VOR at 9,000. You can uh, continue descent via the Cavalier 4 arrival. Expect ILS runway 19 left approach Dulles altimeter 3030. Okay, 
sorry, sir. Can you say again for American 2774? American 2774, your radar contact about five miles west of the Brook VOR at 9,000. I'm just listening to the comms here. Half liter four arrival. Expect ILS runway 19 left approach, dull altimeter 3030. I think this guy's covering two airports. 3030, altimeter. 3003, continue to send by the cover for Alpha Arrival. Expect that last one and a left American 2774. Southwest 538, radar contact about uh, one zero miles to the east of the What is Vazi you spoke about earlier? Can you just uh, pa the Happy Lights. Arrival. Happy lights uh, are four lights that you see on the side of the runway. I'll show you them as we come in. They basically indicate whether you're on the glide slope or not. But I'll, I'll show you them. And Delta 457 nod, do you have yourself situated on the RNAV there? Uh, yep, we are just coming inbound Fergie for the RNAV 19 Delta 457. Okay, Delta 457, uh, no need to give you an approach clearance then. So the wind, 0508, runway 19 are clear to land. Runway 19 are clear to land, Delta 457. All right, cool. So we're clear to land. Obviously, we can't do the visual approach in these conditions. It seems like the in-game weather is not really matching up to the uh, real-world weather. Um, unless I've interpreted the meter wrong, but uh, we're cleared to land anyway, so we're on an RNAV approach. Let's uh, set this down to our final approach fix altitude, which is 1500, and then we'll activate managed descent. So we've got the dot there, and as you can see here, we've got uh, altitude constraint here in the um, uh, FMA and uh, Des is armed so once we pass through Fergie it's going to start descending us it should actually show at the altitude constraint here on the PFD um, but it's not for whatever reason but as you can see here Des activated for a sec there and it's dropping us down to 2600 which is the next waypoint I'm going to turn the weather off because it's quite distracting at the moment um, so you can see here our constraints shown on the, P uh, the ND here. Uh, 2,600 is the next constraint. The next one after that is 1,500. Um, are you going to Fort Myers? Is that correct? Because I'm showing your arrival is Dulles right now. And I, uh, your route seems to be going to Fort Myers. Is it confirmed you're going to Fort Myers? Yeah, we're going to be going to Fort Myers. Yeah, so we're going to continue on down to the next waypoint. Okay, uh, 1,500. Uh, and uh, then we're going to fly on level flights for a short while. Uh, and then, uh, and then uh, we're going to make our final descent, which I need to prepare for. So let's get uh, flaps one. Oh no! Why isn't the approach mode? Uh, God damn it! I completely United forgot about this. Uh, you can tell I'm rusty. I've not been flying the Airbus for a little while. Let's get the speed brakes out. One two zero in the box. Three nine eight five fifty one. Uh, we're going to have some level flight here for a little while, so it's not too much of a, a worry to slow down. Maintain, fly present heading, maintain 4,000 vectors. I left turn on one center approach. Confirm this for Delta 1423. Delta 1423, affirm this fly present heading, maintain 4,000 vectors. I left turn on one center approach. Roger. Maintain heading and um, maintain 4,000. Also, respect back to the ILS from the one All right, cool. So we're descending on down towards our final approach fix. Uh, we've stowed the speed brakes now as we slowed down a ton there. Number eight, 11, I was trying seven, to deal with the sound. Let's go flaps one. Oh, our final approach fix isn't actually on here. So what we're gonna need to do is, uh, this is probably gonna be a misapproach, I think. <laughs> Deary me. What's happened? Southwest 1351 Potomac approach. Clear track uh, right let's go back. track FPA and let's wind this down to 100. And we're going to set the. Wait, why is it not activated? Oh, pressing the wrong button. My bad. We'll put three, 3.4 degrees is fine. Uh, we'll get the gear out to help slow us down a bit more. Let's go flaps three. B brakes out. Flaps full. 
ground spoilers are armed. And uh, yeah, so we're basically just gonna follow down um, on a 3.4 degree path Southwest here. 13, uh, 41, I have your clearance, Brad, so you Minimums are 491. Southwest 13, 41, clear to Orlando Airport, Amy, one departure, scoop, transition, then a file, decline via SID, expect flight level 3601, zero, minutes after departure, departure. Um, yeah, one, this, two, we're one, probably three, too high here, I'm not gonna lie. Let's put this to four degrees, right, see if we can recover it. Orlando, Amy, one, two, but I highly uh, doubt five, we are gonna be able to land it. Yep, no, see, there's the, uh, and, there's uh, the runway. Uh, let's set the go around. Actually, we can't do that when we are in this mode, unfortunately. So I am going to have to just. I'm going to let the aircraft level off at 800. Uh, we're going to set the go around altitude to 3000. Like so. And we'll set the 1423 turn right heading 100. Right heading 100. We'll set the heading there to 188. And we are going around. Southwest 530, descend maintain 3000. All right, so Toga. Straight back to lever climb. Oops, gear up, flaps up one notch. Taking uh, manual control here, and I'm pitching the nose Delta down. Fifty-seven zero three, welcome to Dulles ramp via Yankee. Delta, sorry, Delta four five seven going around. Sorry, who's going around? Delta four five seven. Delta four fifty-seven, Roger radar contact. Turn, uh, turn right, heading three zero zero, climb maintain four thousand. Climb at 4,000, uh, turn right. It was at 330. You didn't confirm the heading there, but let's just turn 330. And uh, 4,000 feet. All right, flaps up. Why we? Uh, why is the auto thrust? Uh... Break twenty seven seventy four. Send maintain two thousand. Seventy two thousand. Break into any seventy four. Fourteen twenty three. Send maintain three thousand. Send maintain fourteen twenty three. All right, and we forgot to put in the <laughs> the reduction altitude here, but it's it's not a big issue. We would have just put a thousand in there anyway, which we were pretty much above, so. Delta 457, uh, I'm gonna try to change the configuration if possible. I think you can get the ILS-1 plugged in. Yeah, I can work on that, yeah, no worries. Delta 457. Okay, Delta 453 for now, fly heading 200, and I'll get you back around for the ILS-1. Perfect, thank you. So flying 200 for the ILS-01 uh, Delta 457. All right. So S speed, so we'll get the flaps up. So we're flying at clean speed now. And uh, he did uh, note that he's going to basically give us vectors around for the zero one. Uh, ILS, so let's go ILS zero one. And uh, yeah, so we're not going to use, we'll turn, we'll take off the star and uh, we'll just insert that. We'll go to RadNav. And uh, let's put in the ILS frequency. Uh, well, it's already in, so that's fine. Uh, 109 decimal nine, so that's fine. Uh, this is an interesting uh, area to actually go around because uh, you do have restricted airspace on the other side of the river here. So pretty cool, actually, that we're getting a chance to do this and, uh, and with the ATC, to be honest. My go around wasn't textbook there, but um, it wasn't bad. I followed runway heading, climbed to 3,000. Yeah, aircraft flying Potomac, you're unreadable. Break, Delta 1423, really turn right, heading 160, and intercept runway 190, low All right. <laughs> Let's go again. Delta 160? 
I'm not sure what happened there. On the flight plan before, um, the, um, yeah, so the RNAV, um, Delta, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to listen to the radios as well, but, um, for some reason it didn't, the arrival procedure there, it didn't actually contain, um, well, I can't really show you now, but, um, it didn't contain the final approach point um, for the Arnav approach, which is what I was aiming to be ready for, and it just completely threw me off. It's probably my fault, really. I should have checked. I should have checked a bit closer when I was looking at the ND. Um, I just kind of assumed it would be correct. Um, but hey ho, <laughs> difficult. Oh, Four fifty seven turn ten degrees left. Uh, turning ten degrees left, Delta Four Five Seven. Delta 1453, 8 miles from Semco, maintain 3,000. All right, cool. But you've got to love it, though. You've got to love it with the ATC and the going around. Yeah, it's very rare, to be honest. So, yeah, I love it. Jeff, thank you very much for the follow. And for the share, much appreciated. All right, American 2774, turn left, heading 210, intercept runway 19 left, localizer. Alright, let's turn on the landing system anyway, and we can get a bit of a... Uh, oh, interesting. The Q&H in-game is now matching the meter. Wow, that's crazy difference they made there. Interesting. Right, okay, so we've got the landing system on now. We've got, we're about 30 miles in. We're about 30 miles away from the airport in a straight line, and we're just waiting for this guy to, to vector us in, basically. Good fun, though. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. You can flight present, heading, descent, maintain 6,000 vector. I've I've hardly done any go arounds in the A320, so I'm a little bit rusty on it, but yeah. Southwest 538 is wasn't just too about bad. Over, uh, column maintain 3,000 to establish on localizer cleared out. Last turn one zero approach. For some reason, the uh, aircraft's flying a little bit below where it should be. It's, it's a bit strange. Is about five miles from it's Domsey kind of it's, it's correcting now, so can't really complain. Look at this weather, though. This is uh, this is grim. Turn left heading zero six zero. Turn left heading zero six zero. Delta four five seven. Delta 1423, wind 090 seven runway 19 cleared to land. All right, so he's turning us in towards the ILS now. So let's start getting configured. We don't want to miss do, do a missed approach United again. 551 radar contact. So we'll go for me. flaps one. Uh, 3,000, 3,951. United 551, thank you, sir. Climb, maintain flight level 210. Up to 210, 390 to 551. And United 551 enabled right. Tafner to join the departure. The new minimums are. Uh, uh, 457 direct Tafner cross Tafner at or above 2500 cleared ILS runway one approach. Uh, direct Tafner uh, cleared ILS approach zero one Delta 407. Southwest 538 the Baltimore wind zero six zero one two runway one zero cleared to land. They directed us to Tafner, which we should have here. There we go. Southwest 1341, ready taxi. Southwest, and we'll uh, go for managed heading again. It's going to take us direct. 1341, 1341. Uh, at Catherine, we want to be at 2,500 feet. So let's get. Runway one taxi via Charlie. Let's get us descending. Cross runway four at Charlie. K1, okay, Charlie Alpha Juliet, cross four at Charlie. Uh, Southwest 1341. 2774, the wind, 090, 07, runway 19 left, cleared land. Beautiful. So we're descending now. We've not got too much distance to descend here, so I'm just going to get a little bit ahead of the curve here by pulling out the ground spoilers or the speed brake. So uh, new minimums now, as I was saying, are now 10, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,
six. Roger, good line, runway 197, and then I'll tell 1423. Thank you. Beautiful, and we've been cleared for the ILS, so we uh, won't, we're not going to get any more vectors. Uh, we'll just basically um, fly onto the ILS and uh, report when established. Beautiful. Well, yeah, man, there is a, a indeed. It sounds like the speedbird in the area. In fact, when we did uh, when we did a flight through um, Canada the other day, there was someone flying a Concorde. Very cool. Okay, aircraft calling to tell me you're coming in. It was very quiet. Same number time call sign. All right, so Catherine at 2,500, which we are going to make. Let's put this all the way down to 1,600. Is it Mexicana, uh, 30 which three, is the uh, final approach fix for the ILS. Let's put seat belts on. I should have done that earlier. I completely forgot we were running this. Still got high high satisfaction though, so I can't really complain. Dulles altimeter three zero zero three. Cabin crew, please prepare the cabin for landing. And we're still on time, so I can't really complain too much. Of the twenty five twenty three Potomac ident. Yeah, 551 contact Washington, sir, now 133.72. 133.72. All okay, right, United so States. we're 11 miles out, and uh, we're looking good. Delta 2523, thank you, sir, your radar contact, about 30 miles. Speed brakes are armed. Brooks, Let's DLR do our... Uh, well, we won't do anything else for now. <laughs> we won't do our checklist for now until we uh, know we're landing. Localizer's coming in, so let's uh, hit a lock and uh, get on the localizer. Uh, we'll go uh, for currently north off, sir. flaps two. And uh, we can see yeah, another five, aircraft. Contact Washington, Sarah, now 133.72. Yeah, contact Washington, Sarah, now 133.72. Contact Washington, Sarah, Turn right, heading 100. All right, let's go seats down. for landing. Uh, we'll go for... Slowing down now to uh, 140 by the looks of things. It seems quite slow for flaps too, but let's just slow down. Lock star, so we're capturing the localizer. And we've got a slight cross. Well, whoa, holy mother of God. We've got a 40 knot crosswind. Okay. Okay. And Potomac, uh, that wasn't on the meter. For push, uh, North Cargo with the numbers. Giant seven zero one. I think the in-game uh, weather is 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 totally different to yeah, the. Uh, it's totally okay, different to the to the uh, real world weather at the moment. All right, so seven miles. Let's go for flaps three. Speed is being very strange at the moment. It seems to be targeting the final approach speed rather than. Uh, Oh, no, it's not. It's not. My bad. Um, yeah. Three, zero, uh, Let's go flaps full. The glide slope uh, is coming down now. Gear down as well. Cannot see a thing. Um, yeah, let's see how we get on there. Four twenty seven, the wind zero five zero eight, runway one. Clear let's go to land. approach mode. Runway zero one, clear to land. Uh, Delta four five seven. Speedbird one eighty nine, heavy turn left, heading one four zero. I didn't hear what his read, his wind readout was. Concord one eighty nine, heavy. Danger. All right, so we've got glide slope down. localizer. Let's do our landing checklist. Uh, we're clear to land as well. Um, landing checklist, cabin crew is advised, auto throttle is on speed, auto brake is low, and ECAM memo is landing no blue. Two at a time, I heard the southwest only short, yes sir, it's the only short traffic on about a uh, four mile final. Beautiful. All right, so we've got someone waiting to get onto the runway down there. And uh, we've got the runway in sight, so that's beautiful. Five miles from Femco, maintain 2000, still established, third ILS, runway 19 center approach. All right. Okay. So, Lack, you were asking earlier on about Pappy. The Pappy are these lights on the right-hand side Thank of the runway here. Go ahead to read back. 
So the lights are indicating uh, how high or how, how low we are in comparison to the glide yes, slope. Uh, usually they're calibrated at uh, around three degrees, but it can be different depending on the airport Delta or the approach. Across, um, above two whites and two reds indicates we are on the glide slope, which we are currently, obviously we're, we're on the localizer, uh, sorry, we're on the ILS, so we're locked onto the glide slope, but uh, you see on this left one here how it says three whites and one red. That would mean we are too high. Uh, three reds, three reds would be a bit too low. Uh, four reds would be far too low, and four whites would be far too high. Essentially, that's, that's essentially how it works. All right, so let's uh, let's get uh, locked in for the final approach here. And I'm going to take uh, manual control as the runway is in sight. We've got a 14 knot crosswind and uh, autopilot is engaged. Flight directors are off. And uh, let's, uh, let's land this thing. So in a crosswind, in a crosswind looking to aim the nose in towards the wind, and uh, I'm trying not to go off track here whilst I'm talking, and I kind of have, but let me just re let me just rectify this. Minimums continue. Oh, bit of a float there, a bit heavy on the flare. We've got reverse idle decel. American Spoilers are deployed. And I'm actually going to go for manual braking here as we are flying towards the end of the runway rather quickly. There we go, beautiful, down to taxi speeds, and reverses off. I very hard to hear you. All right, cool, and we're just gonna stop here as we uh, now past the hold, well, sort of past the hold shoreline. Seven, runway one nine left, cleared to land. Delta four five seven, uh, runway vacated. Delta four fifty seven, taxi to the ramp via Kilo, cross runway three three. Delta 457 taxi to ramp via Kilo, cross runway 33. Delta v, uh, taxi via Kilo, uh, cross runway 33, Delta 457, thank you. All right, cool, so he's given us a taxi. Uh, crossing, uh, we're going via Kilo. Let me just see if I can find the taxi chart. So that's straight Delta ahead. Delta 431 Potomac approach, uh, Delta South Center 3003, expect ILS runway one right approach. All right, great stuff. Let's uh, get the landing lights off. Uh, we're going to actually probably keep those on as we're crossing a runway. Let's get our flaps up. Getting our flaps in there, beautiful. American Looks like it might be starting to snow here, I'm not sure. All right, and Park let's get the landing lights off now, and the takeoff lights, uh, sorry, nose light can go to okay, two taxi. Okay, stop left calling. That's American two six five four. Okay, one at a time, please. Who is it, Baltimore? Ready to push? <laughs> Everybody's talking at the same time. We've got the AP starting up. I, I'm just going to hold okay, short here. Push start at your we don't have any more taxi away. instructions, so parking right brake is on. Uh, strobes can come off now. Turn the wing lights off as well. Southwest 1341, radar contacts, altitude passing. Uh, engine mode selector can go to normal. Predictive wind shear can come off. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wait for further taxi instructions. Contact, After landing, Chetley spot, spot so retracted, spoilers are disarmed. Through, uh, APU is uh, on, South radar is off, predictive wind shear off, and uh, that is the after landing checklist complete. Next to counter 33, welcome to Dallas, left enable ramp via Yankee.
It's going to move away from this hold short line here as you're supposed to get your full aircraft over the hold short line to actually be American classified as not on the runway. Uh, here you go. American 2654, are you able to accept 17,000 at your cruising altitude? Oh, yes, sir, 17,000 is fine. Okay, American 50, or correction, 2654, clear to Kennedy, Dr. 5, Agard as filed. Climb via SID, expect 17,000 with Germans after departure, squawk 6, at 2166. Copy that. Copy that. Copy that, clear to you. Ah, okay, I thought okay. that's all I was going to say. Engine anti ice is uh, off. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hang on for a sec while we, while I get a chance to speak here. Advisory taxi, Washington altimeter three zero zero six. Delta four five seven, request further taxi to uh, gate. Uh, Delta four fifty seven. Okay, you uh, turn left. Just go straight ahead, November Kilo to Grant. Straight ahead, November Kilo, Delta 457. I'm not sure this guy actually wants to give us Approach Delta 431, uh, a gate. I think he's just... Delta 431, think, go ahead. I think he just wants us to oh, yeah, taxi in and park. He's probably, probably board, he's uh, so quiet, I guess. So he said straight ahead on November, then Kilo, and then we'll just turn into uh, to one of these uh, piers uh, here. Delta 451... Okay, uh, you just fly present heading, send maintain 6,000 vectors, I left one, right? Present heading down to 6K, uh, Delta 431, thank you. So we should be using Terminal B for Delta. American 257 uh, so we wanna, miles from Lofty, we want to be the third um, PA, basically. On so here we are at Ronald Reagan in Washington. Welcome, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the flight. This is a freeware scenery we've got here, so... Uh, Someone in the community has done a bit of 3D modeling on the terminal, which uh, looks pretty, pretty good. It's pretty, pretty lifelike, actually. I had a look at some photos earlier on. And, uh, yeah, it's quite, quite nice. Quite well done. Southwest 1341, contact Washington Center now, 133.72. Thank you very much for the clap, guys, and for the nice landing. Appreciate that. It was it wasn't actually uh, it was quite a nice soft touchdown, but uh, there was a bit of a float there. Which wasn't great, but uh, yeah, not too bad at all. Pretty happy with that. All right, I'm just going to go into this gate here because the service is waiting for us there. So, why the heck Delta not? Delta 431, fly heading 340, intercept runway one right, localizer to maintain 4000. Might as well come in here. So let's turn the landing system we off as well. Constraints off. We'll turn the nose light off so we don't blind the ground right, staff. APU bleed can come on. What is going on? Why is this marshaller all the way over there? <laughs> oh dear. I think the ground services are positioned a bit wrongly here, so... We'll just have to plow through all these people. <laughs> Delta 2523, welcome to Washington. Ramp you a kilo today. All right, there we go. Beautiful. The parking brake is set. Uh, we'll turn the engines off now. We've got the um, APU bleed on. Uh, we'll turn on external power as well, just to uh, supplement the APU. Uh, there we go. Turn the ADS off, and we'll just get the um, Washington ground jetway connection. And we'll get the other services on the go as well. All right, cool. So we've got self-loaded cargo here, 151 feet per minute, 1.02 Gs. Nice landing, beautiful, gotta love it. 79% um, satisfied, somehow it dropped down a bit. Uh, cargo and loading in progress, we've got the doors open. Um, seat belts are off. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll wait for the passengers to deboard here. And uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Mate, 
<laughs> oh no, your Wi-Fi dropped out when you're 500 feet across above the runway. That is an absolute nightmare, mate. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, that that's 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 quite unfortunate. Dear oh dear. All right, well, whilst the uh, passengers are deboarding here, let's have a quick look at the landing report. I always like looking at these, uh, bringing it up on Sim Toolkit. Um, ignore that plane, that is just on the, <laughs> that's just on the aerial imagery. So here's the runway threshold, and uh, here's where we touch down. Pretty, um, yeah, quite far down, to be honest. Um, out of the touchdown zone completely. Um, so yeah, like I say, that was quite a bit of a float there, but um, yeah, I mean, it was nice, soft touchdown, um, and it wasn't bad. I mean, it was crosswind landing, and it was all a bit, bit chaotic with the go around and whatnot. So yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. You kind of see some of the detail that has been rec recreated here at this uh, at this airport. You've got the little. Uh, blobs on top of each of these piers here and then you've got this like blobby kind of <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it you've got this blobby kind of um, main terminal and if we come out and look around you've got this kind of same effect going on here so yeah they've done a, not a bad job here looks like we've got another player over here the American Airlines that we heard on the radio are just pushing back but there we go guys beautiful pretty happy with that Happy with the uh, whole go-around procedure and stuff like that. Yeah, can't really go wrong. Can't complain too much. Not bad, not bad. Uh, waiting for nine people to onboard. Uh, and then we can get our, land, uh, our flight report. Mate, when you land, can we get lights that direct us to the stand? Mate, that would be amazing. If you use the in-game ATC, you can actually get um, arrows that point you right to the gate, which is pretty handy. Um but obviously it doesn't work with ATC, live ATC, because there's no way of correlating the two together, so. But yeah, not, not bad. Uh, we've got nine people. I think they're probably gonna get stuck on by the looks of things. That tends to be what happens. Uh, can you talk me through the live ATC? Is that an API? I'm a complete newbie. Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose, <clears throat> I mean, I'm not a software developer, so I don't know exactly, I mean, it, how it how it communicates with the SIM um, in terms of, you know, whether it's a specific API or not. But, um, yeah, basically, uh, you've got an external application or client uh, called VATSIM in this case, V-A-T-S-I-M. And um, this is what all the sound comes through from the, air traffic controllers um, it does actually link up with the in-game radios as well so you can sort of change the frecencies down here so yeah, I've got 122 decimal 8 tuned and that's the same up here on the application so you don't actually have to use this much um, just to log in really um, and well sorry we need to turn our transponder to standby now at the stand don't we um, so yeah this is the client and basically the air traffic controllers connect to the same client as do all the aircraft and it it basically it doesn't matter what simulator you are flying on all the airplanes get sort of injected into each other's simulator so for example you know if i look at uh, look out the window here we look at like um the other aircraft that's over here so yeah okay i'm seeing him in microsoft flight simulator but he actually might be actually got the one world american livery on there that's quite a cool one um yeah he might actually be on a different simulator completely on x-plane or uh, fsx or p3d or whatever um but his location and obviously his atc all gets injected into that application and then that relays it onto my sim and and that's how the whole atc network works basically and um Everybody is kind of lumped together by the controllers as if they were all flying in the same, 
you know, world and are controlled accordingly. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'll show you the map as well because we want to have a look at that anyway for the um, for our next flight. We're going to do one more flight today. Should be a bit shorter to uh, New York JFK. Again, I was hoping for the visual approach um, for JFK, but probably won't be able to do that in this weather if it's the same. Um, but anyway, so you can see um, all these green planes here are all flying on VATSIM. And even if I zoom in sort of down here, where are we? Here we are. If I zoom in right close here, you can actually see this is our aircraft right here. And you can see our routing that we took. Uh, you can see we had to do the go around procedure and we got vectored back in. And uh, yeah, that's us. Apparently there's another aircraft logged in right next to us, which I don't see for some reason. But yeah, you can see there's a few aircraft here. Um, and then if I click this button at the side, ATC, it will show us the controllers that are connected to the network currently. So we're gonna do another flight today from uh, where we are currently. We're gonna fly up to JFK. So we're gonna have full ATC coverage um, by the looks of things, it says Washington Center online at the moment. Um, and we'll also speak to the approach controller for, um, in fact, the, sorry, my bad. The, uh, this guy's logged into two positions by the looks of things. So he's controlling, um, well, he's controlling a few different positions here. Um, but basically he's Washington Center. So he covers this whole area with the white line. So we're gonna fly over to JFK just here. We've got a ground controller on at JFK and an approach controller. So we should have full coverage all the way to the gate. And uh, yeah, that's how it works. If you zoom out, you can see there's controllers all over the world. Um, Europe is very popular for this kind of thing, especially the UK. Uh, you can see there's a lot of traffic there and a lot of controllers. That's it, yeah, it's called VATSIM, V-A-T-S-I-M. So that's, that's that. Let's uh, view our flight report. We got a B. Um, we were on time. Communicated effectively. Let's see what we got marked down on. I forgot to turn the landing lights off. Apparently, I, I'm sure I turned them off. And I forgot to turn them on. And then the airspeed was below, above 250, below 10,000. So that's why we got marked down. And that's it, yeah. Not, not, a, terrible, uh, not a terrible result. All right, cool. So um, we're gonna swap uh, liveries and airline now. So I'm just gonna log back out to the main menu and uh, I will be back with you in just two moments. I'm just gonna head to the bathroom as well. Uh, so I'll just be two, two seconds.
right. We're back. All right then, that was good fun, that. I enjoyed that. I need to practice my go around a bit more with the A320 because I kind of, I kind of just went blank a little bit there for a while. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't do many go arounds in the using the autopilot. So, well, having said that, no, I, I have done a lot of go arounds, but usually I just. Um, I don't know, I guess it was just because I had the ATC on, it was it was just a little bit overwhelming, but it wasn't bad. When in doubt use the use go go manual anyway, so Yeah, that was uh that was good fun. Alright, let's get set up for our next flight anyway. Uh so we'll need to jump on to sim brief. Bring this up for you guys as well. So we're gonna use Simbrief for our flight plan here. Create a new flight. Um, we are going to be we're going to be American uh, Airlines uh, one seven six. Parting at uh, where we just left off, Kilo Delta, um, Charlie Alpha. James, good afternoon. Welcome to the chat. Hello to yourself in uh, Inverness. In fact, to tell you what we could potentially do, let's just have a look here. Now, no, we'll do we'll do our original plan. Um, so we're gonna do. Uh, Ronald Reagan to uh, JFK, so KJFK, and uh, departing time in half an hour, which is fine. We'll select the A320neo as the airframe. Departure runway is going to be 01, which is where we landed, so that makes perfect sense. Um, Schedule flight time, one hour and 10 minutes. I'm guessing it'll be a little bit less than that, but... Um, that's it. We've got our approach here. So we've got our flight plan here. No star. Um, so we'll see. We've got air traffic control on there anyway, so they'll probably be assigning star for us. Probably expect the, um, let's see, probably this one, Cameron 4 uh, star. Uh, I think that's everything. Okay, so let's go generate... All right, and then we want to go pre-file that sim. And uh, I'm just going to get that filed now. You guys don't necessarily need to see that. I'm literally just going to scroll down and press file. All right, so our cruise is at 170. And let's, uh, let's get logged in. So let's zoom in. And uh, what I like to do normally as well is just check American Airlines uh, Terminal Ronald Regan. The Terminal C, so we want a parking spot on the sort of north side, so up here somewhere. Uh, we're going to be taxiing to runway one, so which is this one right here. So let's go for let's go for one of these. Uh, that's a small gate, so we want a medium. Uh, are they all going to be small? Let's just go for it. All right, cool. Um, weight and balance will set up when we're in the aircraft. ATC options we don't need to fill out because we're using a VAT sim. Uh, weather is going to be live. Uh, very grey day in um, Washington. And just a question, by the way, guys, if you're watching the stream right now, is this any of you guys? 
Did I get him? <laughs> I had this friend request. I'm not sure who it is. Uh, so if it's one of you guys, uh, do let me know and I'll accept it. But uh, if it's just uh, random, then I can I can reject it. All right, I'm just gonna get my charts ready on the other screen here real quick while this is loading. Where's my VATSIM window gone? There it is. Connect AAL 176. All right, here we are, Ronald Reagan. Um, my list of things, it's probably gonna get too dark now um, to do the visual into New York. Which is unfortunate, but never mind. Uh, let's just start a new flight here on self-loading. Import from Simbrief. And I'm actually going to have this so it stays on top of other windows. So I... Um... Oh, it is already set to do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, right, start flights. Uh, sound pack. American. And I'll make this small for the setup here. And uh, cool. All right. Let's jump in to the aircraft here and uh, start getting configured. We'll turn our torch on as it's a bit dark here. Batteries on. External power on. And uh, I shall... <laughs> I'll switch this over to gameplay so you guys can actually see what's going on. There we go. Yo, Jill, welcome to the chat, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you, mate. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, let's get the integral lights on up here. We'll turn the dome light on as well so we can actually see inside. Emergency exit signs on. No smokers on. Nav and logo lights on as well. And uh, that's all we should need to do up there. Actually, no, I tell a lie. Let's just set the ideas to nav. That's a pretty important part. Don't want to forget about that. Uh, there we go. IR2 to nav. And IR3 to nav. Okay. Damiana, welcome back to the chat. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back. Let's get this lighting turned up in here. It's a bit dull here in Washington. Damiana, thank you very much for sharing the stream over on Facebook. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Okay, cool. So, everything's nicely lit. Let's get the integral lights on as well. And just click this on by one. And uh, that should do it. Let's jump on down here then. ATSU, AOC, in it. Let's bring in our data from Simbrief. Uh, all looks good. 38 minutes, so pretty short flight, so nice and easy. Perfect weight and balance. Let's refuel. Uh, just going to bring up my flight plan here just so we can check the uh, weights. So I did press that, didn't I? There we go. Uh, payload is... Uh, sorry, let's look at the zero fuel weight, which is 59. Uh, that's bang on. Okay, cool. Let's load that. So we've got our weights loaded there. Let's just quickly get a jetway connection and uh, we'll get the other services on the go as well so jetway is coming in now all right great stuff so let's uh, start loading the passengers on uh, we're going to put the seatbelt signs on as well as we've got the fuel on board now 
John, good afternoon. Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Going very well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? All right, let's tell the crew as well to start boarding. Might just turn some of these up. It sounds like there's some... Uh, there's some sound effects. <laughs> Got a bit of uh, an announcement going on here. All right, cool. So, uh, perf weight and balance is done. Uh, let's get a... I think there might be an ATIS here, actually. I think there is. Let's get an ATIS for our departure at uh, Kilo, Delta, Charlie, Alpha. Let's send that out. And uh, let's just wait for the message to come through here. Um, set the ground spoilers as well while we're waiting. Max auto brake. So we should get a company message here. There we go. Let's get received messages. ATIS. And of course, we're going to print that off. Of course, we are. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It's a long one. Uh, let's collect the paper. Oh my lord, this is a long one. So we've got information alpha at 2134 Zulu. Winds are 050 at 10 knots. Um, one, uh, one and a half SM. Now I'm not actually sure what that means at shorthand. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is all relating to basically bad visibility. Zero degrees and Q and H is, uh, or yeah, 3005. So that sets uh, arrivals expect ILS 1 or RNAV 33. Landing and departing runways are 1, 4, and 33. So we can expect uh, runway 1, uh, which is what we planned for. Hopefully we'll... Uh, We'll get that, and uh, the rest of the stuff uh, we shall look at momentarily. Uh, but let's just get our init filled out here. So init request. Beauty foul. Okay, flight plan. We'll set our departure. Uh, we'll plan for zero one, like I say, and we uh, want the Doctor Five departure. Uh, Vixelik, can you try to Copenhagen, Denmark? Yeah, it's, it's on my list for sure. It's on my list. Um, can't do it today, unfortunately. We're just setting up a flight to New York. But uh, yeah, uh, certainly in the future, it's uh, going to be done. So a guard transition. Insert. No problem. All right, let's just check our flight plan, make sure it makes sense. And uh, we'll come down like so and we're just gonna skip through it like so so we're going out to the northwest taking a turn inwards and then out towards the east and then up towards uh, new york beautiful looks great let's jump on back down here and just uh, finish this off so we're likely gonna have to do our arrival in the air um We'll get that assigned by ATC, so we don't need to worry about RADNAV. And have departure as well, so that's fine. In it's B, we'll load in our weights. And our fuel on board is 4.9 tons. Uh, 
SM refers to visibility SM uh, statute miles. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, I definitely have heard that before. I just it's just something that it's not programmed into my memory yet. I don't think. All right, so we've got a nice little tailwind again for this journey. So we've got a, a 41 knot average tailwind for this journey. So that should be pretty nice, giving us a little bit of extra uh, speed there. Let's go for a flap one takeoff and we shall flex to uh, 55. Let's set our V speeds, V1, V2, sorry, VR and V2. Transition altitude in the US is 18,000. And that is the MCDU all set. Let's set this back to arc mode. The IRS is now in alignment. Uh, so we're, we're pretty much good to go now, guys. Let's get the APU on. Landing lights to armed and strobe lights to auto. Crew supply oxygen can come on as well. Fuel pumps as well before I forget again. <laughs> Those new sounds are so nice on the... Uh, on the overhead. Love it. Alright, cool. So the APU is going to get fired up here. And uh, we'll get in touch with uh, with ATC now. Uh, what information did we have here? So it was information alpha. And uh, we'll speak to the controller, which should be the same one that we spoke to last time. So the frequency of which is... Uh, it's one one nine decimal zero. Uh, sorry, decimal one. I think. Let's just check that against the charts. Make sure I've got it right here. Yes, it is. So it's tower. We'll be speaking to the tower controller. One one nine decimal one. And it seems like my frame rate has sort of recovered itself from earlier. It's a bit strange that. I'm not sure what happened earlier. Alright, there we go. We should be on to that frequency now. Let's just wait and see if we hear anything. The APU is taking much longer to spool up this time, which is what I would expect. Last time it just spooled up almost instantly. All right. Need to write down what information we have. We have information alpha. What stand are we at? At stand 40, I believe. Oh my god, I thought that was the, uh, <laughs> I thought that was ATC then. Alright, let's have a word. Washington Tower, American 176, stand 40, uh, request IFR to JFK New York, information alpha. I'm uh, I'm so sorry. Your transmission was very very quiet. Then would you be able to say again for American One Seven Six? American One Seventy Six, Clear to John F. Kennedy's I am the Doctor by departure. Agar transition that is filed. Maintain five thousand. Expect one seven thousand. One zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency one one nine point eight five. Block 2170. Okay, cleared to JFK via the Doctor 5 departure. Asgard transition is filed. Climb to, uh, to 5,000 feet, expecting 1,7,000. 
uh, shortly after departure. Departure frequency 119 decimal 85, squawk 2170, American 176. American 176, free back draft, push and start your discretion, call for taxi. Expect runway 1 for the park truckers from Bravo Current. Push back at my discretion, uh, call for uh, taxi uh, on apron, uh, American 176. Uh, American 176, push back on the ramp is yours, but the ramp is uncontrolled here in the US. Okay, yeah, got you. Push back on uh, ramp at my discretion and call for taxi uh, American 176. Cool, okay, so similar scenario to um, to the last airport. Uh, we're going to be pushing back ourselves and um, going for taxi. Cool, all right, so our squawk is 2170, climb to 5000, which we've got set. Which is good. What, what's the volume like for you guys, by the way, for the ATC? That guy was quite quiet for me, so... Could you guys hear what he was saying? I want to make sure. Uh, Washington Tower, Delta 1155 is ready to taxi. Top gun for the start, runway 1, taxi by a Kia, Charlie, Alpha, Julia, cross runway 4. All right, let's lock the cockpit doors. Hello, Charlie Alpha Juliet, cross runway four, Bell Taylor 55. Turn the music down. We've got the uh, boarding music going on. APU. Oh my God, I didn't press the starter, did I? <laughs> I bet some of you saw that and were like, this idiot is not press the starter, that's why it's not spooling up. Oh well, that's fine. Uh, we've got 16 passengers that are still waiting to board, so got to wait for that really let's get the uh, tug in place at least so we can push back as soon as he's ready or as soon as the passengers are on I think that might be just his transmission um, yeah I think it's just his microphone that's a bit quiet but I want to make sure that you guys can uh, can hear it, obviously. All right, so we're getting the tug on the way. For some reason, the jetway is disconnected when I did that, which I didn't want, so. There we go. All right, so above the line, four star checklist. Cockpit prep is complete. Fuel is uh, sent and loaded. Gear pins and covers are removed. Uh, signs are on and auto. It is to nav. Fuel quantity is 4.9 tons. Takeoff data is set and bar ref is uh, three des three zero decimal zero five and set both sides. All right, cool. Passengers on board, let's disconnect the jetway and close the doors. That's the guys to arm the doors. Flight sense arm doors and cross check standby for all call. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as quickly as possible. Thank you for your cooperation. All right, cool. So let's get ready to get on the way here. Let's get the uh, beacon light on, sorry. APU bleed can come on as well. External power can now come off. Hear that uh, APU bleed coming in. Delivery is great, isn't it? All right, so let's just have a quick look around here. We've got another player taxiing there. Uh, let's just make sure he's not going to turn in here first before we decide to uh, taxi here, uh, push back rather. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, we are soon ready to depart. We cannot do so until all customers are seated with their seatbelts securely fastened. All right, so before start checklist below the line, windows and doors are closed. Beacon light is on, thrust levers are on idle. Let's bring up the hand cam. The so thrust levers are idle. Parking brake is uh, set for now. Mobiles are off. Uh, before start checklist is complete. All right, so parking brake is now released, and uh, let's uh, let's get underway with this pushback. So, engine two starts. We'll be starting our 
journey momentarily. Oh, that's a bit of a late turn there, but never mind. Delta Long Side Wind 040 at 1 through runway 1 crew for takeoff. Prepared for takeoff runway 1, Delta 1135. Get nicely uh, lined up on the line here. So let's just stop there. Set the parking bay. That's not very lined up, but it's Microsoft Flight Simulator, and isn't, isn't it what you're going to do? Let's send the tug on his way. That's engine two is now available and started. So engine one starts. Then our transponder to auto now that we're pushed back on the apron. Sorry, pushed back on uh, <coughs> on the ramp. So we're at spot five. It's not indicated on the ground here because the, the, the ground markings haven't been done here. But um, we'll, uh, we'll move forwards to spot three and then we'll call for taxi. All right, so this engine looks like it's, uh, it's good. Okay, so that is now available. Let's turn the mode selector back to normal. We'll go for flaps one here, and we shall turn off the APU. Got to try and fire trying to see wind zero four zero at one two runway one clear for takeoff. Turn our nose lights on, and uh, we're just going to drift forward a little bit. Got to one two five on departure. Have a good flight. Departure for eleven thirty five. Thanks for the ATC. Goodbye. American 176, uh, rolling up to spot three, ready for taxi. American 176, rolling one, taxi back, heel one, Juliet, cross runway four. Taxi to runway one via uh, kilo one, Juliet, and, uh, ch uh, sorry, cross, uh, sorry, I've written this down wrong, so please say again. American 176, runway 1, taxi by Kilo 1, Julia, cross runway 4. Cross runway 4, that was it, yeah, I wrote it down wrong, yeah. Um, taxi to runway 1 via Kilo 1, Julia, cross runway 4, American 176. Alright, so we're going down Kilo, which is to our right here. Um, <laughs> That was my bad there. I, uh, I I wrote C4 down on my notepad as in cross four. Um, and that confused me when I was reading it back. What does Juliet mean? Uh, Juliet is basically, well, it's phonetic alphabet for, for J. And there goes the other American airlines going up in front of us. All right, so we're going down Kilo. Oh shit, Kilo one is my bad. <laughs> Kilo one is this one right in front of us. And then down Juliet, which is a right turn here. So there's no signs here, so I'm going to forgive myself for not realizing. But we need to take a right turn here, which is Juliet. There should be a sign here, but there just isn't. So All right, I forgot to do the after start checklist, so we'll do that now. That's 2523, contact departure, obviously. After departure, 2523, All right, so after start checklist, anti-ice is uh, going to be coming on. It's pretty wet and icy. Uh, Ecam status is uh, checked and okay. 
pitch trim is going to be 30, which is set. And rudder trim is zero. Romeo and Juliet. So yeah, there is a Romeo. There is indeed, yes. Juliet is not without a, a, a Romeo. <laughs> To be honest, I don't think it ever actually occurred to me that there's uh, Romeo and Juliet both in the phonetic alphabet. All right, let's uh, ping the cabin. Get this checklist completed here. Uh, we need to put our signs on. I actually forgot about that. We're going to taxi on straight down here, and we're crossing runway four, which is straight forwards in front of us here. So we're crossing the runway now. Let's turn on our strobe lights and our landing lights. Checking left, clear, and uh, sorry, checking right, clear, and uh, left we couldn't really see, but it is clear. We've been cleared to cross the runway. We're good. All right, cool. I'm just going to turn my strobes off for now. And uh, Juliet continues all the way down to the end here. I believe this is Echo here, so we'll carry on down and uh, take a left. American 176, wind 040 at 13, runway long curve, take off. All right. When we one clip a takeoff, American 176. All right, we're just going to break down here and just finish our cockpit prep. We have been cleared to take off, but it's pretty quiet here, so I think we are good. All right, so um, before takeoff, checklist flight controls are checked, flight instruments are checked. I'm not going to do a, a flight control check here because uh, been cleared to take off and we know they're going to work to be fair <laughs> briefing is confirmed flap setting is one plus f the v speeds are one three three one three two and one three six and set atc is set ecam memo is takeoff no blue uh takeoff runway is one cabin crew advised tcas is t-a-r-a -A, and uh packs are on all right great stuff so let's advise there and let's taxi onto the runway Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff, please. Landing lights on. Nose lights, take off. Strobe lights on. Wing lights on. Back on. Mariner is live streaming. Dude, nice. I uh, will most likely... Uh, then him a raid after this fight. All right, here we are. So runway one, we've done all our checks. Let's get underway here. The so throttle's up to 50%. N1 is stabilized and up to flex. Oh, it says lever asymmetrical. Okay, we're good now. Manflex 55 SRS runway oh, auto throttle is armed and blue. 100 knots. B1 and rotate. It's blowing all over the place. Look, you can see the, uh, oh, the monument there. It's pretty cool. Gear up. I need to make sure we don't go across the river, though, because that is uh, restricted airspace. I'm actually going to stick the autopilot in here straight away, just so I make sure I don't do that. Disarm the ground spoilers, lever climb, so moving the throttle back to the climb gate. American 176, Fox departure, over to flight. Attempting departure, American 176, thank you for the ATC.
Washington departure, American 176, passing through 2,000 for 5,000 feet. American 176, are you still at power? Oh, balls, I'm still on that frequency. <laughs> uh, hang on. 125.65 I need to go to. Uh, American 176 on the SID, uh, passing 4,000 for 5,000 feet. <laughs> Let me just check. <laughs> I I'm sure I had the right frequency in there to begin with. Maybe I've just one two five six five oh is what's on the charts. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, Two five, this one six five. Yep, I'm guessing. Oh, no, Simware's down. Use my phone. Three three seven two zero. Oh. He said departure frequency was departure frequency was one one nine decimal eight five. Which is not correct. Three three seven two zero is what we need. Well, that's a center controller, so I don't know why we would. Uh I'm actually so confused right now. He said one one nine decimal eight five. Washington departure, American 176, uh, radio check. American 176, hey, loud and clear, your radar contact, climb 18, 17,000. Climb 17,000, American 176. Alright, cool, so we had to, <laughs> we got the right frequency in the end. I must have just input it wrong, I, I could have sworn I had that just put on the standby here. Alright, cool. Uh, yes, we are climbing now, yeah. I, I needed to wait for getting that ATC clearance before I could climb any further. And uh, yeah, we were turning, the autopilot was on, so that was just following the uh, following the uh, autopilot uh, guidance there. Cool, okay, so we are climbing now. I'm actually gonna set our speed to a little bit slower so we can get a slightly higher climb right here. And uh, we're climbing up to 170, which is our cruising altitude for this flight. About to break through the clouds as well, which is very cool indeed. Let's uh, set standard pressure as we've been cleared up to... Actually, no, we don't want to set standard pressure. Uh, landing lights off. Nose lights off as well. And uh, yeah, so we don't want to set standard pressure this time, do we? Because uh, 18,000 feet is the... Uh, 18,000 feet is the... Um, transition altitude in the US so uh, we're actually going to stay on sea level pressure for this whole flight which is uh, very rare actually
Alright, so this is going to get a bit spicy going into New York because we don't know what arrival route we're taking. We've had um, our flight plan had no star, and they'll likely want to send us via a star. This Trans 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 Got a few aircraft around, as you can see, dotted about on the ground. Uh, sea belts can come off as well. Alright, great stuff. Nice step out there, some decent ATC. And uh, we're on our way. Forgot to turn the predicted wind shear on though, didn't I? That's smart. Um, I'm not going to turn the weather radar on because we can see there's a lot of weather around here. I don't really want to clutter this up too much. Uh, let's have a look here. So, we have got an ATIS at... Um, Track 176, contact Washington Center now, 133.72 today. 3372 for American 176. All right, so we're going to the center controller now. India, Sierra, Oscar. Wait and make sure no one's speaking here. Number three, Bravo, Sierra, contact the Delmic approach, 119.85, good day. 19.5, we'll see you, three, Bravo, Sierra. Washington Center, W1729, back with you. You want me to head over to Atlanta? Blue 17 at 29, welcome back and uh, stand back for the handoff. Washington Center, American 176 here with you at uh, 17,000. American uh, 176, Washington Center, hello, Baltimore altimeter 3005. Okay, Jet Blue 1729, there's the handoff. You can contact the line at center 13297, good day. 3297, Jet Blue 1729, see ya. Blue Street 4918, requesting taxi. Alright, so we're going to see the... Blue Street 4918, runway 5 left, taxi Bravo. Taxi Bravo, Blue Street 4918. Went to Baltimore Center, but I didn't quite catch the frequency. Say again, frequency for American 176. American 176, that was a piece of paper. I do want to let you know that I tried my... Very I didn't heading, quite catch what he left said, left but runway heading five left, clear for takeoff. You enjoy the flight today. It's my pleasure to have you on board. I'm gonna need to turn these sounds down because I can't really. Delta six eighty three cross J Bo one five thousand. The five thousand six eighty three. Right, cool. Let's turn this all down a bit because it's a bit distracting. I'm trying to listen to ATC. And Delta 683, that may have been blocked. Cross JBO 15000, Philly Altimeter 3016. Uh, copy JBO 15000, any Altimeter 683. Frontier Flight 145, fly heading to 220. When able, proceed direct India Sierra Oscar, resume your route. All right, cool. So I'm just going to chill on this Darryl frequency. I'm able? pretty sure he, um, I think he assigned me a frequency uh, mistake. Uh, I think that's what we were saying, but uh, yeah, let's just chill here for a bit. Um, Baltimore Center is going to be our next uh, controller. So let's just see if we can find the frequency for that. I feel like it's much more difficult to find the right frequency on the VATSIM. Maybe I'm just a noob, but... Uh, it should be 125320. And that's definitely not what he said, so... Delta 2523, contact New York Center, 125.32, get in. I see he's referring it to Delta New 1471, contact Potomac Approach, 119.85, get in. 119, 20, 85. Thanks, have a good day. Alright, cool. 
Uh, Masek, welcome to the chat. I hope you're doing well. American 2080 through 2200. American 2080, thank you. Radar contact, climb my tank, flight level 270. Up to 270, American 2080. Alright, so we've got 173 miles 49, 18, to go. Uh, you can expect about two minutes before your uh, clearance is received to the DCA. Copy that, thank you very much. Uh, I'll sit here and wait. Alright, cool. So we're rocking on here. Let's have a look at what the passengers are saying. They're, they're fine, they're chilling. They would like a drink, let's serve them November 248 Charlie Bravo, the CNBB Cavalier 4 arrival. Dulles is landing north, Dulles altimeter 3003. All right, cool. Let's uh, just bring back normal camera. I'm sorry, Center, one more time for the, uh, which uh, arrival, please? Uh, oh, sorry, I thought you were on the uh, Cavalier. Disregard, November 248 Charlie Bravo. Disregard, yeah, thanks. You uh, freaked me out for a second. Hey, Charlie Bravo. No, that was my mistake. All right. So we're just going to wait for a bit here. We'll probably get transferred fairly shortly to New York Center. Black, apologies, I missed your uh, stars. I was uh, a little bit preoccupied there, but thank you very much. As always, so very generous of you uh, for the 300 stars. Thank you very much. Uh, you're absolute gents. Thank you for all the 300 stars. Much appreciated, man. Uh, good education, evening entertainment. <laughs> I'm glad you're still learning from me. Um, yeah, I've not managed to uh, bore you yet. But yeah, appreciate that. Thank you too much. Uh, Robin, uh, uh, Don as well. Sorry, Robin, thank you very much for the follow. And uh, Don, thank you very much for sharing the stream. Much appreciated. Blue Street 49, 18, uh, you ready to go? Blue Trick 4918, ready to go, 5 left, uh, RDU. Let's see Blue how far we need to actually descend here. Fly runway heading, runway 5 left, clear for takeoff. Need about 60 miles, so we can just chill for a while. Blue Trick 4918. Mike Echo Tango, 5220, is your call sign Metroliner? Metro Air 5220, uh, thank you for that. Center maintain flight level 220. Alright. Metro 5220, thank you. Expect ILS from my side. Beautiful. Alright, so I'm just taking it easy, man. Um, yeah, I'm trying to not talk too much so I don't speak over the controller again and mishear him, so... Turn the volume up a touch Delta as well. Delta 4738, contact New York Center, 125.32, good afternoon. New York Center, 125.32, This guy's microphone is like sometimes super loud as well. Wow, okay, my god, the in-game, uh... Q&H is totally different to the real life. What the hell is going on with the weather today in uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator? It's very strange. Usually I'll verify the... Excuse me, usually I'll verify the ultimate setting. By pressing B on my keyboard, but I must have forgotten to do that at that time. Auto Center American 2080. American 2080, go ahead. Confirm respond, runway heading. American 2080, I thought I gave you Lima Victor Lima. My apologies. Proceed direct Lawrenceville. Direct Lawrenceville, American 2080. Blue Street 4918, stay altitude leaving. 
Passing through 4000, Blue Street, He's trying to find me on the map. Oh, there I am. 18, radar contact, climb maintain flight level 250. That'll be your final today. Up 250, Blue Street, 49. Cool. All right, so it's all going to get, all going to get popping off fairly quickly here once we uh, get into New York airspace. They'll probably give us an approach. They'll probably give us an approach and then start uh, start descending us more or less straight away. So I need to be ready. So copy American one seventy six. We're going maintain a one five thousand Atlantic City altimeter three zero one four. Send to maintain, sorry, was that uh, 15,000? Uh, Atlantic City, ultimate uh, 3014. Uh, American 176. American 176, Okay, perfect. So let's go down. And uh, we're going to keep the uh, altimeter to what it is because it's, okay, wildly different still. Right, so we're descending to 14,000. Uh, for some reason, the aircraft uh, doesn't want to quite do it just yet. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so he's even going to start bringing us down now for our descent. So, yeah, I wonder if there's uh, quite a lot of traffic in uh, New York at the moment. Uh, not really, no, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, there's a decent amount, but... Yeah, I don't know. I guess he's just getting getting us down. Why not? Um, let's see. So I was just going to try and work out what approach he might give me. Um, let's go to the ATSU, AOC, ATIS, K... Mexicana, zero, three, KJFK, three, arrival, send... Wait for the company message. American 258 is sending the caps through your arrival. Washington is landing at north. The Washington Altimeter is <coughs> Excuse me. All right, Washington is landing north. So there we go. Capture, Company message, uh, ATIS, print. So we're probably going to get the Cameron. American, correction, United 765, Washington Center. Hello, climate change, flight level. Arrival. Let's see what it says on here. November 248, Charlie Bravo, cross Joanne, 13000, the double cell altimeter. ILS four right is in use. Cross at twelve thousand. Altimeter three zero zero three. Charlie Bravo. Charlie Bravo, that was crossed at one three thirteen. Copy that. Cross at one three thousand. Charlie Bravo. Okay, information alpha. It's an American two fifty. I'd like to request if you could pass along to approach ILS. the uh, RNAV three three for us. ILS four request right. Let's punch RNAV that in. Three three. I'll let them know. We'll just make that uh, request with them as well. Thanks. Let's just keep it for none for now. Washington Center is, uh, hey, Charlie Bravo, can I get that vector point again for uh, 13000? Putting our approach hey, Bravo, information be, uh, real quick. Joanne, Juliet, Oscar, Alpha, November, Zulu. Altimeter is 30.26. Temperature is minus 3 degrees. There's a magic thing on the uh, flight plan called scroll. I recommend it highly. Uh, zero eight zero eight knots is the winds, and transition is eighteen thousand, which we are below anyway. Uh, zero four right is going to be the ILS. So our minimums are going to be a uh, hundred. Well, let's put two one two. And wow, it's all of a sudden got extremely dark out here. Holy American crap. American 2080. All right. American 2080, go ahead. Can so you get about five minutes away? That's that information uh, set. Yeah, on back. Thank you. Delta 683, contact New York Center, 125.32. Good day. 125.32, 683. 
and they might not even give us uh they might not even give us a, a star to use they might just take American us 176 uh i disregard okay i thought he was going to contact me then but nope um yeah he might just take us straight in from the last waypoint to the ils so we'll see what happens beautiful all right. Unfortunately, we can't do the visual approach uh, like we wanted American to. American 258, contact the Atlantic approach, 119.85. We'll see you later. 1985, good night. See ya. Yeah, American unfortunately. 176, contact New York Center, 125.32. We'll see ya. 2532 for American 176. Delta 11 at 55, leaving my airspace to the west, Indianapolis Center. 04, sliding 010, zero, zero. maintain 2000, will establish, clear ILS 4 right, speed 180 knots, still a 5 mile final. Ah, uh, 010, clear ILS 4, maintain 2000, establish, clear the ILS 4 right, maintain 5. 235, Delta, welcome to Philly, taxi Sierra, hold short, runway 35. Taxi Sierra, hold short, runway 35, look that's correct, all the way down to Sierra, hold short 3-5. You're going to the FBO, correct? That is correct. Wonderful. New York, double 683, level of, uh, 10, I'm just 000. waiting for a, a time to speak here, now we've changed frequencies. New York, hello, expect ILS Zulu, 9 or right, the Philly Osmeter, 3015. ILS Zulu, 9 or right, 3, copy up. Stop. South 23, leaving my airspace, frequency change approved, enjoy the flight. New York Center, American 291's checking in, flight level 300 smooth. American 291, New York Center, good afternoon, sir. Squawk 7134 and items. 7134, item 10, 291. Dynasty 817, heavy alert. Oh my god, I can't get word in. miles northwest of Binghamton, New York, flight level 320, welcome. Thank you, and uh, all these stuff now like cockpit for about 10 minutes, if that's okay. All right, Northcoast, just let me know when you're back, please. Copy for Dynasty uh, 817 Heavy. Alaska 512, after LaGuardia VUR, flighting 130, vector Silas 4 right. After LaGuardia VUR, flying and fly heading 130, vector 404, right ILS, 512 Alaska. New York Center, American 176 at uh, 14,000 feet, uh, information alpha. Probably 4 right, clear one. Right. American 291, weather contact, five miles northeast of Carmel, VUR, flight level 300, cross Jersey, and maintain flight level 280. God damn it, I think I spoke over someone then. <laughs> American 1437, fellow setting 160, vectors to final. Lift uh, 160, vectors to final, American 1437. American 291, cross Jersey, and I maintain flight level Man, this guy's busy. Jersey at flight level 280, American 291, position trip. Thank you, United 504, contact Washington Center, 133.72, enjoy the flight. United 504, contact Washington Center, 133.72, enjoy the flight. I can't hear other people's radios. You know, I stopped there for a just to let you know I'm not hearing anything from you. It's only static background noise coming through. Might want to check the mic there. Sorry about that. Uh, there was a bit of a hot mic situation going there. United 504 going to Washington Center on 133. That's from uh, 720. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. Thanks for flying, sir. Cafe 47 Delta. Welcome to Candy. Say parking. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't have any I'm going to be too late to descend here if, if I can't speak to him soon. Yeah, you can continue to move up Fox Foxtrot Alpha, Fox Foxtrot, hold short four left. And, uh, I'm not sure if you're parking at the cargo area or somewhere. I uh, just need to know that. Yeah, I need to uh, at the cargo area. Alright, is it, there's a couple of in Caddy. It's the one next to Charlie or the one entering the uh, Romeo Sierra. Do you know which one you want to go? The next one to Charlie. Roger, continue Fox Foxtrot Alpha, Fox Foxtrot, hold short four left. Thank you. New York Center, American 176, uh, 14,000 feet, formation alpha, inbound, Pansy. American 176, New York, Roger, welcome. American 1437, flying 13, question 120, intercept the localizer. 
Right, cool, he's got me now. He's got me. PPS 1295, have you just want to maintain 6,000? Under 6, PPS 1295. Number 235, Delta Cross, runway 35 at Sierra, then left turn Delta, hold short, 9 or left. Alright, so, we should get some further descent fairly soon. I've got 70 miles to go, so I suppose we don't really need to descend probably for another 30 miles. I'm sure why that other controller dropped us down to 14. <laughs> I was maybe going to make you sweat. Oh no. Yeah, I was starting to feel the pressure a little bit there, but we got there in the end. Mike, thank you very much for the follow. I want to try and check and see if there's an approach control on. I don't think there is, to be fair. And, uh, American 1437 cross, uh, Kiel, question of Sulci, at or above 3000, Claire Alice, Zulu, 9 or right? Uh, Claire Alice, I think she at, uh, 3000, and, uh, Claire Alice, approach, 9 right. Delta 683, Desana maintain 7,000. Delta 7683. Alaska 512, Desana maintain 1,000. Kennedy altimeter 3026. Alright, let's have a quick look anyway at our arrival. Um, this is where we are currently. We're just flying along the east coast of the US. And we're going to come in over the sea towards uh, New York. Uh, we've got four rights uh, runway in use, which. Uh, yeah, so basically we're going to go more or less straight in from here. Uh, coming onto the ILS at 2,000 feet, uh, 3 degree glide slope. And uh, down onto 4 right. Minimums, uh, 212. So we are looking good. Always action packed. <laughs> I'm glad it's entertaining. It's, uh, I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, though, to be honest, because if it's action-packed, is it because I'm, I'm, I'm uh, incompetent, uh, or is it just because, like, I don't know, everything just goes wrong when I'm, uh, uh, in the cockpit? Going down the 3, UPS 1295. Dollar 6, 3, American 176 cross camera, now to maintain 11,000, 2000, 0, Kennedy Altimeter 3025. Uh, crossing camera at uh, 11,000, uh, American 176. 235 Delta cross, 9 or left at uh, hotel, then taxi. Alright, so he wants us to cross camera at 11,000. And that means we need to lose 3,000 feet, so we need to set off to, we need to descend down to Cameron at about 9 Delta miles. 4738, proceed direct to green, cross green at or above 2,700, clear to Alice runway 4. Direct green, green at or above 2,500, clear to Alice runway 4, United 279, contact Cleveland Center, 1. So when Cameron comes just, just into this circle here, I'm going to just start Cleveland the descent. United 279, yep. United, question UPS, 1295, heavy, turn left, heading 170, vectors to final, route of speed of 180. 170, vectors to final, down to 180, UPS, 1295. American, 1437, 1070, at minor, gust 19, runway 9 right, clutter lines. Good man, 9 right, local position. Alaska, 512, turn right, heading 180, to sound and maintain 8,000. 5180, American 176, after Cameron, fly heading 360, vectors ILS, runway 4 right. After Cameron, fly 360, vectors final uh, 176. 
Station 7, the Midwest Ready Taxi, one second. I didn't say my full call sign then, that was my bad, but... Uh, Station uh, 7, Lima Delta, Scott North Charlie, runway 17, Taxi City at Delta, Delta 1. At 360 after Delta we one, we'll go make through sure Cameron. Cameron. So let's descend now to Cameron. 120, intercept the localizer. 120, intercept localizer. QBS 19. And uh, MROC 218, heavy in the arc. So we're going to get vectors to final, so this should be quite enjoyable. Do enjoy getting the uh, game vectors. Uh, ILS is 109.5, which is tuned and correct, so that's all good. Adults block their south of 3502 in New York Center. Good evening. And then over 235 Delta, cross our way 8 to Delta, then taxi Alpha to parking. Enjoy the day. All right, and let's put in 330 here, which is, uh, sorry, 360, which is going to be here. Yes, 1295, expedite the turn there to 120, about to go the loss through the local I already got the local Okay, I have no idea what's going on then. People shouting over each other on the radio. <laughs> Alaska 512, we're heading 220. 220, we're heading for Alaska 512. Delta 4738, contact New York, 1, 2, find the frequency, 120.4, take care. 120.4, thank you. Camera Rock 418, New York. Correction, Camera Rock 218, you here? Uh, I'm not waiting, go ahead. Camera Rock 218, cross lurch, at and maintain 14,000, the Harrisburg altimeter 3009. Cross lurch at one at or maintain one four thousand Q and H one zero zero nine or up to one team. Confusing. Six eight eight three ten right heading zero four zero vectors to final. Zero four zero six eight three. UPS twelve ninety five cross of Sil Seattle above three thousand, clear Alice is Zulu nine or right, speed one eight zero knots, twelve five mile final. Okay, so the error of 3000, clear out of one zero nine or right, UPS twelve ninety five. Alright, so we're flying three six zero heading now. New York Center, November 224, requesting GFR to North, out of KFK. Wait, okay, there we go. And uh, November 224, I do not see at JFK. No flight plan on file as well. Can you double check where you are? Yes. Yeah. 0683, continue right heading 060, intercept the localizer. This one I maintain 3000. 060, intercept out of 3000, 683. American 176, the center maintained 4,000. Descending 4,000, American 176. All right, so we're going down. We're American going down. Cross Let's uh, turn our landing lights on line as we're going to pass through 10,000. Nose lights can come on as well. UPS 1295, number two following a uh, uh, Boeing. 747 on a short final, the wind 06013, runway 9 right, clear on. New York Center, November 224, sorry about that, I have now fixed it. That's all minute, TPS 1295, runway 9 and right, clear on. Okay, so we passed through 10,000 feet, so we're going to slow down now to... Uh, we're going to slow down to 250 knots. Passengers aren't very happy on this flight, are they? 60% satisfaction. All right, so we're descending on down into the darkness. And number 224, you're still there? Uh, sorry, what's the issue? Yeah, number 224, I do not see you. I think you connected as an observer. Just disconnect, and then when you connect, you got to make sure you don't hit the uh, observer button. There should be something connected as a... Uh, as so a we've got a pretty pilot. high you know, descent rate here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure right exactly now. why that is. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. Just double check that. And the left 760, only four left taxi via Alpha Kilo, cross three, one left. Alright, so we're still just over 20 miles away from the airport. Uh, 
Uh, but basically what he's probably going to do, he's probably going to turn us in as we come on to... As we come on to this uh, line here. Right, two seven zero to ten four thousand. Alaska five zero. Thank you. American one seventy six ten right heading zero two zero. Intercept the localizer. The center maintain two thousand. Turn zero two zero. Intercept the localizer and descend two thousand. American one seven six. And uh, Dynasty eight seventeen. You're back. Okay, cool. So we're going to intercept the. He's uh, cleared us to intercept the localizer, heading 020, as I expected. Uh, he's turning us in towards the localizer, descending 2,000 feet. Little 683, number 2, following a heavy Boeing 747. Uh, 8 miles ahead, caution wake turbulence, 1060 at 13, runway 9 or right, quarter lines. Number two. I'm just going to speed up our descent rate just slightly here because uh, we're, we're maybe just a little bit above profile, only by a tiny bit, but let's just increase the descent rate a little bit. And uh, the localizer should come in at any moment, so I'm going to hit localizer now. And we've captured it, so we're turning on to the localizer now. And I'm going to just keep the speed brakes out a little bit. We are on profile here, but I, I do want to just make sure that we're going to be intercepting the uh, glide slope from below. So we're now established on the localizer. We've got lock showing and this pink diamond here. We're essentially just descending now so that we can uh, capture the glide slope. He's probably going to descend us to 1,500. Okay, thanks. All right, cool, great stuff. So we are probably a little bit high here. I'm not really sure why we're descending so slowly. American 176, maintain 180 knots or greater, so far mile final. Maintaining 180, American 176. <clears throat> Alaska 512, unable, reduce speed to 180. Unable 180, Alaska 512. Giant 227, contact Cleveland Center. All right, cool. So we are leveling off at 2000, which is good. Uh, he's asked us to slow down to 180, which again is fine. And uh, yeah, looking good. Wait, were we going? No, we weren't. Okay. Air Canada. Let's get flaps one out. Canada Start Canada slowing Canada us down. 13372, good night. Air Canada, 1 right so this glide slope indication should start start coming down momentarily and uh, we should be able to capture that and uh, citation five nine or seven lima delta uh, left actually uh, ready for immediate departure there Oh, the approach phase didn't activate again. That's a bit strange. It did that last time. Mark 176, runway 4 right, clear to land to 1070 at south. Runway 4 right, clear to land, American 176. All right, so we're clear to land. Let's hit approach as the glide slope comes down now. We're going to go flaps 2. Put manage speed mode back on. New York Center, United 1503 at Allentown, requesting IFR to St. Louis Regional. Glide slope is coming down, so we should get this uh, glide slope arms no, turning to green Center, momentarily as this pink diamond passes through the yellow line. And there we go.
Beautiful. Correction, the fly runaway heading radar vector is Allentown, New York. And it's Allentown. raining here. Maintain 5,000. I can see the rain. Level 400, zero, zero minutes Might even be snowing, actually. Four, I can't seven, really tell. One, zero, six. All right, so seven miles to go, 160 knots. We're looking good. We're established on the localizer. Let's set our go around the, uh, altitude to 4,000. To Allentown. Climb and maintain 5,000. Squawk 7106, unit uh, We'll turn our heading bearing to That's runway heading. Correct. Sorry, we'll turn it to our go around heading of 099. Good afternoon, American uh, 619. It's just a little uh, quirk. You wouldn't have to do this normally, but it's just a little bit of a quirk to do with the go around system that's currently implemented. Uh, and then we're going to come in here. Oh my god, my frames are dying. New York is, is pretty heavy on, on the system. Uh, next phase, let's go for a thousand feet. Number two, following the traffic, Alaska 5 Delta is clear to land from 0 4 right. American 291 across Troy's out of maintain 1. Actually, got an aircraft behind us coming in for landing just there. Zero, zero, four. Three, zero, zero, four, across Troy's at 12,000 American. And we are coming in here. Can't see many lights. December 224, ready to taxi. December 224, runway 4. Can't even see the runway yet. Kilo across the runway 3, one left. There it is. Just coming into sight. All right, let's get uh, seats for landing. Seat belts. That was a bit late on the mark there. Uh, let's get our flaps three out. And the runway's disappeared again, which Taxi is uh, not that encouraging. Let's arm the ground spoilers. And we can go flaps full as well. And seat belts there as well. And I can just about see the runway there. Ping the cabin. Landing checklist. Clear Cabin crew advised auto throttle is speed, auto brake is low, ECAM memo is landing, no blue, landing checklist is completed. Alright, so window. manual controls. Alright, Sierra, you there, uniform Papa Tango on uh, across uh, Dynalastic C3. Alright, Sierra, you there, Minimum continue. And citation seven, Lima Delta. Sorry for the delay. We're ready. For, we're ready for takeoff from my one seven. Citation seven, Lima Delta. Left uh, base. Correction. Left. Uh, and we're down. I couldn't. I couldn't hear the GPWS telling me how high I was above the ground because of the ATC. It's so quiet. I, I really hope they improve the volume of that uh, at some York, point uh, in the future. United, uh, I think it is listed as a bug. Uh, um, for the call outs being too quiet but yeah I'm sure they will uh, they will sort that out in the future alright the manual braking All right, beautiful. I'm not sure where to go to here, but I'm going to just stop here. Runway vacated, American 176. 176, welcome to Kennedy. Taxi, Foxtrot Alpha, then Foxtrot. Hold short, runway 4, left. Taxi via Foxtrot Alpha, Foxtrot, hold short, runway 4, American 176. All right. Let's work out where that is. This is a pretty complicated airport. Woo. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too much of a bad landing actually. This is saying 200 feet per minute. Um, that's saying 193. So yeah, not too bad. 
But like I say, I couldn't actually hear the um, the callouts. Obviously, the, you know, the callouts, uh, the aircraft gives you 50, 40, 30. I usually time all of my flare and stuff based on that, and I couldn't hear it because the ATC, and because it's too quiet. It's too quiet in game. So, um, so yeah. Um, I know it's recognized as a bug uh, at the moment this, with the uh, uh, callouts being uh, too, cry too quiet. Hey, so I look forward to the day when they're a bit louder and I can actually hear them over the radios. But uh, yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate that. It wasn't it wasn't too bad. Probably better to touch down a bit harder than, uh, than not uh, when it's rainy. Obviously with longer braking distances, etc. All right, so we'll get cleaned up in here. We'll turn, get all the flaps up, disarm the spoilers, and we'll have to retract those actually. And we've got the other aircraft that we, uh, the other aircraft that was coming in behind us. I can hear him, he's just landed, but I can't see him. Center, uh, Dynasty 817 hit the top of my descent. I'm gonna begin my descent into uh, Dulles Airport. And I thought I'd say 17, you're a bit late there. I'm afraid I'm going to have to vector you, you're way too high. Uh, you can decide on maintain 900,000 for now, the altimeter is 3009 and expect vector. Alright, come on. I expect vector is uh, I need this aircraft to move. My yeah, you should, you're really high, you're 20,000 feet high. I can right hear now. him, I can't see him. Uh, watch this. Oh, he's right there, he's just, <laughs> right, he's almost see. invisible, you could just, just about make him out there. This thing is so bad at taxiing when it's wet. It just well, doesn't roll well, at all for some reason. Call, I'm not sure exactly why. Oscar 5 talking to Candy Taxi. Fox at Alpha, then Fox Trot. Hold short for left. Fox Alpha, Fox Trot. Hold short for left. Alaska 512. Alright, so we're going to taxi on down here. We're going to take a slight so right and then we're going to hold short runway 4. The uh, Almira Altimeter 3010. He's behind you! Yeah, <laughs> I managed to finally see him. Oh my god. Turn? 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 Hello? <laughs> oh my lord. There definitely needs to be something done about this um, taxi on wet surfaces. All right, so we're just going to hold short here for a sec. Get the APU on while we wait. Station 7, Lima Delta, radar contact, Delta to the case 1700. You can proceed as request. Landing lights can come off now. Proceed as request at 7, Lima Delta. Mark 176, cross four left to Fox Drop, and taxi left off at a parking garage. Cross runway four and uh, taxi Fox Drop Alpha, American 176. All right, cool. So crossing the runway. Get the strobes on. Oh, well, the strobes uh, are still on. Heavy contact, Potomac approach one one nine point eight five. Take care. And contact on the approach at one one nine point eight five for Dynasty eight one seven. All right, so you said Foxtrot and Foxtrot no Alpha. So that's the second right here. Down. This is getting complicated. This area. Cross four left to Foxtrot, right Bravo to parking. Take care. And then we want to take a right at Foxtrot and right on Bravo to parking. Let's go fire top. Thank you very much. Right here. Amrock 218, contact the Sonic Approach 119. Oh, turn, Take come care. on, turn, please. Well, 9.5, Amrock 218, thank you, bye bye. Southwest 3502, you're leaving Myers. Why State. does it not turn in, in wet weather? It does this every time. Uh, turn the strobes off. And I'm off the taxiway now. <laughs> Tell you what, I wonder if it's to do with my control setup here. Let's just have a quick look. Eh, no, I guess it can't really be. Alright. Yeah. 
That other guy is just invisible. I can't wait till they implement like proper, uh, you know, like lighting. I can't turn. See, I'm turning full left here and it's just not turning. Um, anyway, I can't wait until they implement proper, um, proper lighting for the other aircraft in the sim. Sorry, last time I'm calling say call someone more time. Alright, so the taxiway is here in front of me. I'm just going to turn left here and go park because this is an absolute nightmare trying to taxi this thing in wetness. And station 7, Lima Delta, do you call frequency? I'll talk with another control there. Hey, from nowhere, so what can we see? Oh, bit of a hill there. And we're going to park in between these two aircraft here. Let's turn our nose lights off as we come in. Um, this looks like it's going to be a runway six there. Oh, look at that ground though in the wetness. Look how runway six, thank you. nice that looks. Do floor pedals make turning easier? Probably not, no. United 1842, no. Because at the end of the day, you're still providing, you're still providing the same control uh, deflection as far as the sim is concerned. So, no, it shouldn't do. Um... I mean, it would probably make things easier to a certain degree in certain scenarios, but not in this scenario. I think it's just something to do with the the, the, the friction on the ground, or something to do with this uh, add-on aircraft that's uh, making it a bit difficult. Look at this ground, though. It's all shiny and wet, and it looks amazing. Anyway, we finally got to a gate. We're just going to park here because it's uh, a bit of a mess about trying to taxi around in this thing. Got all these aircraft on the ground. They're all covered in ice. <laughs> oh, we can definitely go a bit further forward than that. I think one thing I do want... Yeah, thanks. I don't need to read back, back. Just... Uh the one thing I do want rudder pedals for is um, for the tow brakes. That's really all I want them for. <laughs> all right, let's chuck our paper away. Uh, goodbye, goodbye. Uh, cabin is clean. Beacon light. Oh, no, 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 no. don't turn that off yet. Uh, we'll turn off both the engines. APU is available, we'll start the APU bleed. And do we have external power? Yes, we do. Okay, you know, we'll turn external power on. And we'll call for a jetway connection. Get baggage service on the way as well. So APU bleed on, its external power is on. Engines are spooled down. Beacon light can come off now. Wing light can come off. And uh, we should be getting a jetway coming over. Yeah, we do. This airport is another one of the Asobo created uh, airports uh, handcrafted. Unfortunately, we can't really see much of it at the moment because it's all dark. But, I mean, to be honest, it does look quite good. I've not really flown into New York too much. Um, but I am quite impressed with this. And that aircraft has got its nose through a jetway. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> it's actually getting uh, serviced. I've never seen that before. I've never seen them actually taking bags from other aircraft. That's new. All right, let's get the passengers deboarded then. Let's get the seatbelt signs off. All right, and let's uh, shut down the rest of the aircraft. It is off, crew supply oxygen off. And uh, that is about it. We can turn the fuel pumps off as well. Transponder to standby. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much clean. Now let's do a parking checklist. Uh, APU bleed is on, engines are off, seat belts are off, um, external lights are off, uh, fuel pumps are off, parking brake chocks, parking brake chocks are set, and uh, we are good to go. Beautiful. So that's the parking checklist completed. Let's wait for our passengers to deboard here, and let's see what let's see what score we get. We've only got 54% satisfaction, so I don't suppose it's probably, I don't suppose it's going to be that great, but let's see.
Let's also see the landing report here on... Um, in fact, I'll show you this real quick, just to give you an idea of the scale of the airport that we're currently at. I mean, you probably know about JFK anyway, but yeah, this is uh, absolutely enormous airport. Um, obviously, we, we've, we landed on four rights here, so we came in down this runway. Uh, we turned off at this junction right here, took a left and then right onto Foxtrot, crossed the runway here, and then we kind of meandered around this corner and then came in for to park uh, right here. Um, so that was that. So let's have a look at our logbook real quick. So this is our flight, an hour's flight time today. Um, I'm not sure what this line's doing. I don't know what that is, but um, <laughs> yeah, we obviously flew from here to here, not from the center of the map. Um, that's a bit of a, an error, I think. Landing rate, 193 feet per minute. Landing report. Um, so, yeah, right down, right in the touchdown zone. So, pretty uh, pretty nice in terms of uh, where we touched down. A uh, little bit off center line by 22 feet. Uh, nothing too major. Uh, heading was uh, a little bit off as well. Uh, should have maybe brought it around a little bit better with the rudder as we came in, as we did have a slight crosswind there. Um, but uh, that's that. So that's pretty good. Uh, we've got uh, passengers deboarded now. Let's view the flight report. We actually got an A minus. That's absolutely great. Wow. Um, I definitely turned on the landing lights before 10,000. That's a bit of a strange one. Airspeed was above 250. I'll give them that. That was um, the autopilot. Um, you know, it takes a little bit of time to slow down, so you know that happens, but not too bad at all. Um, this for some reason has a different feet per minute landing rate than what the main menu did, but hey ho! All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, that was uh, that was a lot of fun today. I was hoping for the visual approaches, but hey ho, weather had different plans. Uh, what can you do? Um, but that is going to be all from me for today. So uh, let me just, uh, before I sign off, let's turn the APU bleed off and the external power and the batteries as well as the emergency exit signs. And uh, that's the, com the aircraft completely shut down. So once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you very much for the support. Ramsey, thank you very much for the 50 stars. Sorry, I missed that earlier on. I was obviously uh, concentrating on the approach there. Michael as well, thank you very much for the follow. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in today. David, Zach, Lack, of course. Thank you very much for all the stars, brother. Uh, Damiana. Um, we've got Masek, Simon, uh, Vixelik, uh, John, Jill, uh, James, Ian, Dave. Um, who else have we got? We've got uh, Yasir, um, Leon, Flying Stew, of course, Tom B, Dave Young. Uh, Paul, Steve, again, congratulations on winning the quiz. And uh, who else have we got? Uh, Sophie as well. Sorry, actually, I missed your message a little bit earlier on. Good day to you in Canada. And uh, I think that is about everyone that I can see on my chat right now. So once again, thank you very much, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed. Um, appreciate the kind words uh, and I'm glad you enjoyed. I'll uh, catch you again in the next one so um everybody take it easy once again thank you very much for the support uh, david thank you very much for the 50 stars that's very generous of you uh, if you want to hang on for a couple of minutes everybody on facebook i am going to send you over to uh, a good streamer called mariner halley and um i'll send you over to him in uh, a couple of moments so uh please do join the raid and uh, send him some love uh, hashtag fuzzy raid in the chat and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.